This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Well, welcome. Welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura. and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. This uh, cold brew really runs through you. <laughs> what happened? I had a normal morning dump, and then yeah. I had, you know, about half of that thing, and round two came with a fury. You think that's what did it? But I you've do. also been on a new diet. No, I, I, yeah, but I feel like dead ass that, that it was this. <laughs> it's you know? Labor Day. It's Labor Day, you know? Did you yeah, know, like dead ass though. So. <laughs> I think about Tony so often. Yeah. First of all, he hides on the gram. He no longer is he private. Yeah. Or I mean, is it? I mean, I got in before. You get to see him. Yeah. Oh my God! Are you recording <laughs> those videos? Are you ripping his videos? I will. Jesus! What are you waiting on? I know. I think he actually deleted his account. Poor production. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm. You're I, not even aware. I forgot. Last I checked, he took himself down. Jesus I think. Christ! Anyways. But he does give sage advice, and I hope a, a lot Will of people. You play it. I well, yeah. Take your Ubers. I hope. I hope you guys did this weekend. If you were drinking. Labor Day. Labor Day is a big, <laughs> important time to take your Ubers. It's important, because you, you, if you do get drunk and you drive. Don't do it. It's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> it's true. It's really Don't true. Don't do it. It's bad. Bad ass. Um, yeah. <laughs> He's dead ass right about that. He is right. It's really bad to, to get a DUI. Yeah. You know? Dead um, ass. Labor Day. Labor Day. Thank you, Ovals. Dead ass. <laughs> well, it is showtime. A lot to get into. Back Great to work, guest. everybody, from the, the Labor Day. Ovals. Labor Day is such an important holiday <laughs> in this country. I have no <laughs> idea what it means, what it's for, who it acknowledges. I just know that lazy people get to not do something. I that know. Day. I know. The Who's government not working? and banks are like, it's Labor Day. I know. We don't work. It's just another excuse to not be able to get your errands done. Yeah. That's so annoying. If you had a mandatory Labor Day off, you're a piece of shit. All right, let's start the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. This shit is big time. <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the I didn't... Dead. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom, Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. What's up? Oh, that's a extra long intro. Oh my god! There. That's not the regular intro. Whoops. <laughs> Tom, this is supposed to be a safe space. Yeah, I know. I want a safe space. No, I I don't want to hear it again. I know. I hate you so much right now. What is that? What is that? It's puke. Yeah. Oh. oh I'm sounds, not listening. Can't hear it. That one's fine. It's not fine. That doesn't sound like anything. You're such a liar. No, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm not listening. You can't get me to put on the headphones. I'm okay. not doing it. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that's, you know, it's kind of right on the day back. We've had a little break. Come back, get a little puke going. No, why did you choose to o- use that as an opening clip? That's I didn't. So- oh, you're going you're gonna to blame Blue? Uh, no, Blue- it, it was me. It really was. What is well, what? I asked Tom, I was like, what intro clip do you want? And he's like, well, you know what we usually play. Just play that. And so yeah. I did. A puking clip. I, did, I didn't even see these. I didn't you know You know I have a serious aversion I to didn't, vomiting. I didn't do it. I, actually, Christina, that's my fault. I completely Guys, forgot about that. I'm offended, and I want all puke-related matter to be removed from the show. You know you're show. offended. You want to see something super <laughs> offensive? Yes. Watch this. This yeah. uh, this made the news. This made, like, international news. <laughs> this is a, a morning news team. Oh, I know. I sent this to <laughs> oh, you. Did? Okay, you have to see this. This is Finn. We're about to show. Oh, my goodness. Take a look at him. He's a resident of the Oklahoma City Zoo. And this week, the zoo's eighth caretaker 
took over their Instagram, and we are all loving that they did. And as you can see, Finn was fascinated. Definitely ready for his close-up. Kind of looks like you. What do you think of this? Kind of does, actually. Yeah. Uh, so <gasps> you're listening. Oh. She is a blonde white lady, oh. and her co-anchor is a black man. And she was like, it kind of looks like you for a, I think, a baby gorilla. Whoa. So then she apologized. It's The p apology is so depressing. <laughs> it's always she, the worst part. She cries so hard. Oh, no. And so intensely. Oh, no. It's more embarrassing than Oh, that. my God. But why would you? First of all, let's... I mean, you have to know that that's a stupid thing to say. I mean, well, I think she knows on. now. <laughs> she knows now. Watch the first few seconds of this. Oh my god! Uh, Not only to my co-anchor Jason, but to our entire community. Oh my god! <laughs> I said something yesterday that was inconsiderate. It was inappropriate, All right. and I heard. I think what Christina's looking for for paying the puke clip is something like that from you. You know, a little bit of an apology. <laughs> yeah, I do want, want that. Look, Christina. Yes. I, you know, this place is a really great place to work in. Yeah. And, I, you know, I want it to be a safe space. Thank you. Yeah. And I know that when I play and find and play puke cl clips, it, it stops being that. So from Thank the bottom you. of my heart, it affects you. It affects Tom. It affects the community. <laughs> and I, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize. So just so you know, because we're not going to, this thing is too. But like she apologized for like three minutes. Oh, no. And then he's like, fuck you, bitch. Does he and say that? No. <laughs> no, no. That would be great if he did. If he though. did, I'd be like, this guy <laughs> no, needs his own show. No, that'd be the, the greatest clip of all time. We'd be playing that. No, he's like, he's nice about it. He's like, he's like, I love you. We're friends. But he's like, but you definitely fucked up. <laughs> yeah. He's like, it's wrong. Shouldn't have said That's that. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, like, <laughs> I feel like almost badly because her her like it it just will never be the same for her you know? never, never I, I, I was just gonna say like if i were her I, I would just quit yeah i don't think i would have the nerve to come back and be like i on behalf of the community just be like look i, I said think, it dumb i'm stupid i'm sorry i'm so dumb i think that's a good point and i think that's a good lesson for people in life <laughs> is like if you fuck up you should quit just quit you know what i mean <laughs> like if you make a mistake in any type of job, you should leave. Well, that's what I did. Is that not what you're supposed to do? No, you should. That's I good quit advice. from like 20 new jobs in like four years. It's a good idea. Before I did comedy. Because you were like, so I'm not good at these things. Yeah, I'm not good. Yeah. Maybe and she's I, not good at talking. Clearly. Or thinking on the fly. <laughs> not really. Because her thought was like, look at that gorilla. Hey, man, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> like that was her. She's a professional speaker. And she was like, this is a cute little black thing. And so are you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was her thought and she articulated it on television <laughs> like it wasn't at a restaurant she was like i'm the it's also morning news it's not like you know well could they have to be so squeaky clean? oh my god you i remember one time anything i said something oh I, I had a hat on that had like um i don't know a logo a team logo mm -hmm. and i also had like a, a jacket that matched it or something you know and I was in one of these, and they're like, oh, uh, big, um, whatever, you big Orioles fan? This is like on the morning news show. And I was like, uh, I got, no, nah, I'm, I'm like a black guy. I just, I wear hats that match my outfit. <laughs> and uh, he was like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, he's going to be at the funny button. And he like, yeah. he panicked. And I was so like, is that it? Are we done? And he was like, yeah, if you're going to go super edgy. And I was like, all right. That was for saying I match my clothes. <laughs> he was like. Yeah. Can you imagine what a like, horrible, do horrible job that is to be a morning person? No. I mean, we would get fired so fast. You well, know what I mean? No, we'd never get hired. Of course. <laughs> she has to know, but in this era, you can't, you cannot, you can't do that. That's just crazy. Yeah, I know. Who's it's, who hasn't gotten the memo on that? On like uh, likening black people to animals and such. Fucking Cindy. Oh my God, Cindy. Yeah, I would have yeah. quit if I were her. Because I'd just be like, look, I'm, I'm so embarrassed. You know, like, I'd be so embarrassed that I would just it quit. Would, it would be great if during her apology, she was like, <laughs> I'm sorry I hurt you. And look at me. I have like this Jew nose. And I have features that are also ugly. <laughs> and he's like, what? Yeah, he's like, now you're saying I'm ugly. I have... <laughs> I, uh, my brain, it works like a chink. I can't fucking, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. And he's like, all right, well, this was a fun job. <laughs> we got to go. 
<laughs> um, did we read this last time? This is up there. Or is this just to read now? A little letter, dear mommies. I don't know if this is something we read on the air before. I don't think you read it. Really? It's just it's just quick. It says it's from Ted. No. It says, dear mommies, thanks for providing me with interwebs with so many hilarious. No, oh, yeah, we could skip that. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Ted, for a, a letter we're not going to read. Thanks, um, Ted. Uh, yeah. So there's a lot to um, <sighs> labor. Labor. Oh, yeah. He's fun. the guy that made the sign, I think. Oh, so I should read that. Oh, yeah. oh. that makes okay. sense. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. He made that huge YMH sign. That's with a, stunning. Yeah. So I should, it says, thank you for providing myself and the interwebs with so many hilarious, silly, <laughs> fart-filled, entertaining podcasts that keep me laughing for hours. While I work throughout the day, you gorilla looking black. What the <gasps> fuck? What? This is my Cindy? way of giving back. <laughs> thank you very much. From Canada, piss on me, beat me, Ted Munns. Ted, thank you very much. He made Thanks, it. We're going to put it on the gram, but he made a huge, elaborate YMH signage. Like, like a uh, mosaic type. Yeah, yeah in our so logo. Nice. And it's uh, it, you can change the color lighting on it. It's really impressive. So. Thank you very much, Ted. That's very, very nice. Speaking of you. Uh, bright lights, your shirt is, is really never, colorful today. I've never, I've been taking my meds and I'm <laughs> feeling happier. The doctor said to smile more. And What's where, going on? You are happy. Is it because we had marital loves? No, that puts me in a dark place, but <laughs> I, um, no, that's always good. I don't know. I'm just feeling good. I am eating differently. Maybe yeah, you're it. you're on a th high. I like this. I've been exercising more. All yeah, that stuff. Good yeah. for you. No, yeah, I don't know. I'm taking you Uvas. I am. Well, we went uh, to the we went to a public pool mm -hmm. yesterday. We hung out and um, we saw. Well, there's a couple phenomena, right? We yeah. saw the most unattractive man in the world yeah. talking to a very attractive woman. Yeah, and I got a theory on this guy. Go too. ahead. Well. This is this is this has happened a few times to me where like you know a guy will look at you and if you're a guy you know, he looks at you and he's basically giving you fuck you eye, like fuck me eyes you know mm. he's like and this happens like, a lot to you not a you lot say? but it's happened I mean over the over the it's course doesn't happen of a in the ladies time. locker room <laughs> yeah so the guy he was like gave me the look and I was like what you do at that point is um you just break eye contact to be like I'm not down but do you think hold on do you think that it could just be him saying hello mm -mm, no nah. there's a hello look and there's like are you into this you want to put and these nuts in your mouth look he gave me the look and i was just you know i didn't do anything dramatic i just turned away and then he was like ah it's hot out <laughs> got a, I, I got my sandals so because the floor's <laughs> hot too and like one of those things where you're like yeah it is hot um you know so he started that thing and i was like yeah he's like yeah i like coming here and i was like yeah, it's nice. It's a pool. It's hot out. So then pool will cool you off. Like, the fuck are we talking about, you know? Yeah. And then he's like, and there's, uh, I like it here because there's so many women here. <laughs> and he he went like that. And I was like, R R yeah, I guess there are. He's <laughs> like, oh, no, it's going to fill up like 10 to 1 women to men. And I love <laughs> that. And I was like, okay. And that reminded me of previous conversations <laughs> I've had with guys who uh, like are gay but are not out yet and yeah like, and it's weird when they're older because they're clearly trying to um disguise it by talking about sex with women <laughs> so like one guy who i know is like pretty he's kind of famous and i hung out with him the first time i met him he was like oh nice to meet he's like oh i ate so much pussy last night <laughs> and he goes God, I love that stuff. And I was like, uh huh. That stuff. Yeah. And he's like, give me that good stuff. So I good. I could just eat pussy. it all night, you know? And yeah. I was like, right. Yeah. I, want, I almost wanted to be like, you know, just so you know, for like, few, we never say that. Like, yeah, don't stray, guys. You don't yeah. have to say. Yeah, it's always, it's implied. We know that it's good. And now, what about those videos where the guys are like, I want, I want the pussy on my face. I want that's the different. Nookie. That's mental that's illness real? and oh. sadness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about when a guy enthusiastically is like, you know what feels good? Yeah. When when you put your dick like in a pussy, <laughs> and, and you, you put move, it in and, and out, you move in around in there. <laughs> oh, I could just do that forever. And you're like, okay, <laughs> sure. You know, and then you you take it out, you put it back in. You know what I mean? And you're like, right, I, I get it. Uh, it come in the, all over in the pussy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that guy, that that guy, the one who told me that he likes to eat it, um, I told other people that knew him, and they were like, "Well, they're like, that's hilarious. He's, you know, he's just 
closeted. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. But this guy reminded me of that guy. The yeah, guy that I met. Yeah. He was like, so many girls and you could, you know, <laughs> just talk to him. And I was like, right? Well, because he, he did talk to the most, I would say, attractive person at the pool because tom and i when we go to public areas where people are in their bathing suits we like to rank our bodies yeah like look against the guy, other people's bodies the guy made me feel good about myself right. <laughs> maybe that's why i'm happy today because i you know i'm self-loathing i'll be like oh fuck i'm gonna need to wait yeah. and then i saw this guy who was a disaster disaster i mean body. he looked like a manatee in short yeah, he was yeah. like just falling out no neck fat 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 pockmarked hiv face <laughs> He had a lot of problems. And he had um, <laughs> he had that hard, <clears throat> the hard booze belly yeah, that you see on that's, alcoholics. That's from AIDS too. medication. But yeah, yeah it's, got, he's, <laughs> it's a distended carcass. Yeah, he, Swollen. Yeah. And um, yeah, and, and he was very chatty. It's usually those guys that chat with everybody. And because he came in and I saw him talk to the waitress. I, I come here twice a year. <laughs> and then you came in and you told me oh, he yeah. comes well, here twice he a year. Like, he fucking... He also did the thing where, uh, see, that's why I think that's why he didn't chat me up in the pool anymore. Is that when I saw him in the locker room, I was walking away and he kept talking, and I kept stopping and going like, "Oh, that's cool." And then I would like take two, like I'm <laughs> I'm leaving, and he was like, "Yeah." And then because when I I live up north and I'll come down here, and I was like, "Are you gonna keep talking to me?" Man? I know are you kid. And, and then it was like two more steps, two more steps, two more steps. You know, he finally fucking shut it down. But I I we lucked out because then in the pool he was chatting up tits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was so he was he didn't lie. He was talking. to He was a, talking to a smoke. She was a, the prettiest girl. Yeah, but he was doing like friend talk. You know what I mean? I, he, it he was, was weather talk. It, it was, was travel he, talk. Yeah, he, he was like I and I like I had live the hotels there. Like, yeah, he was talking about just he wasn't spitting game. But they were either. talking for an hour forever. But mm. I think because she was like I'd I'd like to drown myself now too. No, she was into him. I think she was into him. Into him? Mm-hmm. What do you mean into, into the him? Into the conversation. Okay. Because she was like, yeah, and then she would adjust her titty. She had those real big fakers that don't, you can't feel anything, so yeah. if it, the bathing suit falls, she doesn't really notice wonder, kind of stuff. I wonder how, if that guy's confidence is really real, because, uh, you know, I've, I've always heard about that, like the, uh, like big people who are like, yeah. I, feel, I, I look great and I feel I'm like do you really feel that way no way like, I think some of them do I don't know I, I mean I, I, I don't know I don't know I've, I I really do I think like some of them are like yeah I'm, I'm the shit though I've, I've seen it I've met people like <laughs> I've that. seen ugly guy confidence yeah and that's it's where it works because if they you can wear down a woman yeah enough that she'll eventually some women are susceptible to that wearing down so yeah. don't don't you dare yeah, play no, no, him no, no, don't no. you fucking dare i know no. what you're gonna do this guy's been sending me messages i know yeah. i don't i don't want to yeah. fuck yeah a lot no a lot but anyways back to comparing our bodies to other people's bodies. it feels good when you see does. a pig and it you're does. like and you're like well you know i i don't look good but next to that person that, and that's what i do all the time because yeah. i go to this place regularly once a month and i like to rank myself against older women, fatter women, women who just had babies too, and mm -hmm. I, I compare myself. But I like to do it in people in my age bracket. Yeah. You gotta find people in your league to compare yeah. yourself to. So you're not so, so you can be like, I'm the fourth fattest. I'm the fifth ugliest. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, I think there was probably like 20 people at the pool, and then you can't rank people yeah. not in your class. In other words, if you're 40, you can't be like, comparing, you know, compare yourself to 20 year olds. It's not you know? fair. But so amongst like the 40 to 50s, I mean, there was two disasters there. And I was like, yeah. I'll, I'll lay next to them. You yeah. Know? Like that made, <laughs> that made me feel good. I was like, these yeah. guys are about to die. I'll be all right. You yeah. Know? So, yeah. I like that. And then I, then I just like ate, you know, healthy. Yeah. Like seeing them also, I was like, oh, if you don't take care of yourself. That's what's scary. This is where you're going to happen. I yeah. agree. It's so inspiring. And also, um, so the girl that he was talking to had i would say the sluttiest tattoo i have ever seen now i live i lived through the 90s yes. and that was where i uh, tramp stamp started i have a tramp stamp so I, you know i'm not throwing slutty stones but this chick had the craziest tat we saw she was tom describe it head of the hose she was <clears throat> so you know where your bikini crazy. where your bikini bottom meets let's say your waistline the top of your bikini like bottom the top right? of your underwear the rim of it yeah, yeah the rim of your underwear yeah top part of it right where that happens 
she had a tattooed wow. like lace pattern yeah on so so if you were if she were to take off her underwear you would see lace around her waistline yeah so where the panty like line where is panty line would be yeah i mean i didn't even know that was possible it is possible and it's uh it's super ho shit but it got us thinking about the hoiest shit like <laughs> for me the biggest indicator that you're down to fucking fuck yeah is i always thought it was thigh tattoos yes you know thigh tattoos to me are like She's she's the game. daggers, oh, the daggers. Yeah, that's a hoey. Or Josh Potter mentioned the even scissors. The scissors. Those, those become more <laughs> prevalent. Yeah. Sometimes there's big flowers. Big flowers are big there. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I know he's talking about too, like the each fake. and every one of these girls is on only camps. Every girl was skipped. <laughs> They're all there. But it's the top of the thigh <laughs> that's real slutty. Yeah. And if it's like the fake garter belts, oh there it is. There's the like, the ribbons. That one's super hoey. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, if you had oh, a thigh yeah. tattoo and you're like, I like to take it slow, I'd be like, this is false advertising, <laughs> okay? You're putting out there straight up, I'm down to fuck messages. And it can Ooh. look good when you're older. It's not gonna. It's uh, yeah, it depends. Oh, that's good, the clown. Well, you know what the, un the funny thing about tattoos is too? It always has a thing, that's a bad <laughs> that idea. That one's crazy. That's what, that is. what is that, the devil? Yeah, that's that's it. Uh, that's it. It, yeah. The clown. That clown from that's it. That's sexy. From yeah. And yeah. that's on your thigh. You don't want that, bro. Fuck, man. It is all these tattoos, though. It's all about the person wearing them. It really is. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, there's certain people they put on any kind of tattoo, and you're like, that looks badass on you. I know. You know? It's a cool factor. It's what, like, oh, a wolf. A wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Some people can get away with shit. Some people can only shop at the Gap. That's my problem. That's right. And I then can there's only chest shop hats, at the Gap. Right? That's I, I always, like chest hats. I like them too. Yeah, Sometimes really there's words. I like those. Paw prints mean come right here. <laughs> you know, for sure. <laughs> you step in the cum and then you stamp it. Mm -hmm. The chest paws. Oh, is oh yeah. Definitely how we, yeah. Yeah. What um I've always felt that, and I'm gonna Super get a lot bad. of pushback on this, but I've always felt that French manicures are a slutty, oh. but French pedicures. It's like your toenails dipped in cum. That's what the white tip is. I don't like French. And you know, I used to I have, don't like it either. I remember tweeting about it and like posting it a few years ago. I got they're like everyone was like, they're classy. They're not I don't and think like, so at no, all. I, think, <laughs> I don't like it. I think they are <laughs> I think they are what trash thinks is class. Yeah. You know? Like those gypsy girls yeah, and my big fat like gypsy. gypsy. I got my French tips. <laughs> I got my French fingers and toes. And it's just like a French lady in Paris. And I they got do it. They do not do that in Paris, I assure you. What about the pedicure? But Google the pedicure. That one's even more egregious. You know what? You know what? Uh, I think that one's what bad. is a, uh, what I think is foul is um, there is black <laughs> black black tips. pedicure. Yeah. So you're like you have a French tip, but it's a it's black. It's such a weird. So, oh, right. No, but if, yeah. if the tip is only black, it just looks like a dirt is under your nail. It's so weird. You know what I mean? Like French. Yeah. Like, French. Like, yeah. It's terrible. like, oh, did you not clean out your your toenails? <laughs> terrible. And by the way, let's spread it around. So the men. Yeah. I, I've saw a lot of those Tiva sandals. Do you oh, know those Jesus walkers? Like, like Velcro strap oh, sandals. Oh, man. Yeah. If there is a shoe that says, I don't want to fuck it is that shoe. Yeah. Look them up. Black. If you're a guy and you're wearing these, oh my. Just know you're putting out the se the signal. There like <laughs> there I it don't is. like dick touches. Like there it is, that one. Yeah, that, the that black the bukkake, one the sukake. Oh my god. I saw three dudes, older dudes wearing this shit. And by older I mean like boomer age, like 60. Yeah. yeah. And their toenails were so nasty too to match. They all, have, like, they all look like this. They all go. Yeah. <laughs> They bleed. They breathe in and out through their noses. They're always like, <laughs> <sighs> no, not even those. Those Oof. are even sassier. Those oh, like those heavy duty oh, oh, those black. Are bad. God, what? Those are two hundred and sixty eight dollars, and they're out of stock. <laughs> they're sold out. Any? How much to wear those? <laughs> how much to get me to wear those? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta be five figures. Five <laughs> figures. Wow. Those are how whack. I mean, what are those are the worst things you've seen? 
those are shoes I would expect my grandfather to wear. Right. Only. Yeah. And that's it. And why, it, it, even he, wouldn't even, like, a grandfather, wouldn't you be like, just so you know, grandpa, there's other options? Like, yeah. I feel like even a grandfather cool ways. shouldn't be wearing <laughs> these. Well, there's, yeah. They're terrible. There's never a reason you should. And then he's like, on. but the fungus is growing. <laughs> that's the thing. But that's the thing is that they all have toe funguses because I saw their nails and their nails were all yellow and yucky. So it probably is that. It's probably yeah. a doctor being like, your, your feet need to breathe. And then they're like, I got these <laughs> don't touch my balls fucking sandals. Because there, oh. there is a way to age yeah. gracefully. True. That's what we were talking about oh, yesterday. Oh, there's a cool guy right there. Look, there it there. is. There it is. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking puke. <gasps> These are horrible shoes. These oh, are fucking with the socks. oh with the socks too. I mean, oh, give up. Just cut your dick off. Sew up your vag. Because we were talking yesterday, like there's a way to grow old and have some fucking respect for yourself. You know? Oh yeah. my god. Oh my god. You know, like dead ass though. Dead yeah. ass. Yeah. Take your dick and put it in your Ugh. own ass. <laughs> oh, cool color ones. No such thing, bro. Nadav, I could see you wearing these. Oh, what the? F <laughs> You're why, awfully why? close. No. I've seen you in your white sneakers. This is one. You're you're one bad decision from. No, I white don't show sneakers off my cool. tootsies like that. No. You don't gotta show off your feet. How bad are your feet? I mean, they're not bad, but I mean, like they're not as good as Potter's, though. They're right? not summer feet. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you that. Who's got the worst? Off. Who's got the worst feet in the in the box there? Who, Who do, do you think? think? <laughs> I think a dove. If I had to guess, I have some web. I, I, like I have a like web some web, web action, but like you have web toes. Nothing too crazy. You have webbed toes. Yeah, the pointer in the middle. They're they're a little joined up up the middle. Wow. All right, we don't need to, I don't want to see. Just yes, so you know. I knew it. I called it, though. Yeah. See, I told you he had the nastiest. Well, I mean, jo got the Josh nicest. is a fucking sex worker. <laughs> right. <laughs> so he sells his. Oh, yeah, he's pristine. Yeah. Yeah. He's top of he's the line. He's a sex worker. I mean, I wonder if it interests any at all, knowing the money that Josh made. Was that is that of interest to you to get involved or no? Dude, I wish I had hairy shoulders after seeing Josh's income. Really? I wish. Yeah. I, I would pay to get Maybe fake hair put on your on shoulders. My shoulders? Yeah. Is that a thing? Do they do that? Sure. <laughs> would you do? Would you do um, cameos for that kind of money? Where you're like, "Hey, it's any." Are um, you kidding me? And like tug on your nipples and just say <laughs> something to somebody. <laughs> They're like, "Hey, Bob, it's your birthday." <laughs> 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 would you do that? <laughs> it's your birthday, Bob. There's not a lot of things I wouldn't do. Really? Really? We gotta get you on cam. I don't know why we're not fucking. Around. I mean, what's his fetish though? What do you think he's gonna? Is it nipple tugs? I don't, How I'm are your nips? It out there. Any, are you comfortable doing nipple play? I mean, I could do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You better set up your account. Dude. I know. <laughs> Anything right, you I'm want. Set it up now. Yeah. Damn. Josh, make more Josh needs to put him in touch. Josh, you need to get any on Cameo. I'll get my team on it. Uh, okay, team. <laughs> as a celebrity on Cameo. <laughs> I also, um, the dolphins. Dolphins are a real, uh, either just a dumb girl or a, a hoe. Or Josh's mom. Oh, uh, Josh's mom did that. <laughs> his, uh, Josh's own mother, he told us, has dolphins going around her yeah. belly button. Yeah, that's really dumb. And she got it at like 50 or something. <laughs> um, that's really funny. I've always wanted to get one on my dick. Yeah, what are you going to get? I wanted to get the, the, the word toxic <laughs> down there with the symbol, you know, like that. That, that I'd like it. And then have an arrow that points to the tip. I would like it. Yeah. Hey, you're, it's fine with me. You want to do it? Yep. Or just get HIV and then the plus <laughs> symbol underneath it. That'd be cool. Right? I love that, actually. So when you're on the road, you're not getting any of that road beef. Oh, because it always gets to that point. <laughs> that they're like, all right. And they're like, wait a minute. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It works for me. I love it. Uh, I can't. I love that. You can jerk off on my hair. That. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta come in your hair before I do this set. Hold on. <laughs> how many how often are you doing that? Not often. Come in some guy in woman's hair. Oh, that's a thing too, isn't it? To come in people's hair. Look, to come anywhere is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> there, whatever you can imagine someone coming, that's someone's thing. Guys are just ugh, Yeah. So um, fucking gross. Yeah. So uh, oh, 
So we played the uh, acupuncture song last yeah, week. Yeah, I remember. It was do you great. Remember that? Um, can you pull up the original? Like, can you do, you? do you have the clip you can play of the? Yeah. The guy. Yeah. Just pull that up. So what happened was, uh, we're gonna play this clip in a moment. But the the guy who sent in, well, his video was out there. We played it, and then we asked you, the audience, to actually uh, remix it, like give it the treatment, yeah. you know, that you've done it before for yeah. other hit songs, such as <laughs> Machines Within and <laughs> Piss On Me and Beat Me. Uh, you've, you've remixed so many. And now me, beat me. we Try have out. a new edition. It is the acupuncture song. Um, do you have it? Yeah, sorry, it's, it's taking me a second. There's so many files and folders. I know, there's oh gotta be a better God. system to do this shit. There's got to be a better way. There's always machines within. Machines within. T sixteen. Working on my flow. Working on my flow. Working on my flow. That guy was great. We made him into a star, into an international uh, superstar. Machines within. Oh there my god. There were a few versions of machines within. He had that I would pay to see live. He had rap. Yeah. They had metal. The metal ones were really good. There was even a, like a folk country yeah. banjo song where it was like a machine. <laughs> the guy strumming his guitar doing machines with yeah. him. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. I once went to see a doctor with my mom. She wanted to see an acupuncturist that she had heard of. He turned out that this physician wanted to treat me as well. He was an old tiny Asian and he seemed harmless. You get it. Mm -hmm. So that goes on for so long. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and you guys sent mm. in some remixes. So here's uh, number one. This is Acupuncture 2 by Drake. Well, what I like about this guy's art is that it doesn't have to rhyme. <coughs> A lot of people stick to the rule of your song has to rhyme. Mm -hmm. And he breaks the mold, which Here. is innovative. It's exciting. Here's the first clip. Sure. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing it's so good it's like so good already a record executive being like I mean <laughs> the music is not bad but uh your lyrics are insane man <laughs> like you are fucking crazy <laughs> for the what kind of song is this but you never know I mean look in in today's world that yeah. of YouTube and stuff we could make this guy a huge well, we'll see. I mean, look, there's there's a lot of like there's a lot of producers the, out there. The, I'm a producer. The people I'm a direct, direct, the direct, I'm a choreographer. I do it all, man. <laughs> this is Acupuncture No More by Grass Kingdom. Ooh, Ooh it's like Stranger Things. I'm so <laughs> in. <laughs> oh wow. Oh. This is going on my phone, dude. This is so I can't even turn this off. I know, it's good. <laughs> oh, man. It's a jam. This dude's gonna, the dude, oh, the dude no. who said, who made the original video is gonna reach out and be like, please put me in touch with that producer. I need to make I know. Yeah. I, I think we may have found our next big hit. 
What's that's that song great. that the, the, you know, the cowboy song, we're going to fuck my butt and chicken <laughs> ranch. This, this is better than that nonsense. This is a great song. Old Town Road. Jesus old, Christ. This is our Old Town Road. And you heard it here on your mom's house first. We mm. broke this. Well, I got to say. This is going to be huge. On the t- if you put this on the talk, <laughs> this is going to blow up. Grass Kingdom. Yeah. That yeah. was great. Here's uh, Kyle B. Mark with his my submission. words. I once went to the doctor with my mom. <laughs> she wanted to see an acupuncturist that she had heard of. <laughs> as it turns out, this physician wanted to treat me as well. <laughs> he was a tiny Asian <laughs> and he seemed harmless. Great Kyle. really good work really good it was nice to hear the lyrics so clearly yeah. too and the, i and really it painted a picture of what happened that day it was pure it was innocent yeah you know? but i didn't realize that they went to see the physician for his mom yeah and then he's like you should be treated as well mm, the son and right. the son got thrown into a situation he wasn't ready for those needles can be scary and they hurt i've done it it is not a walk in the park it hurts uh, here's one by brian p mm-hmm. no i'm sorry is that right Brian oh, P. Oh, it's two people. I oh, think. and Greg C. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it already. Wow, real build up here. Yeah. Seriously building. I once went to see a doctor with my mom. She wanted to see an acupuncturist that she had. This reminds me of like, um, like a kind of like so a throwback, dumb. like an action movie from the 80s or something, you yeah. know, like that kind of theme, like yeah. Top Gun like shit. Too. Yeah. Was an old, tiny Asian, and he it's like, you guys can do it, you know? Yeah. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> this is a great chorus. Yeah. Good job. Wow. Wow. That's a great job, guys. That's amazing. That is amazing. I'm always amazed at the talent we have in our audience. I know. It's great. It's I really mean, impressive. Goodness. This is a Fraxo acupuncture song, YMH edition. I once went to see a doctor with my mom. She wanted to see an acupuncturist that she had heard of. It turns out that this physician wanted to treat me as well. An old it's like 3 a.m. and you're on your way to the strip club in Miami, you know, and you've been Taking you've been taking ecstasy. Ah. Maybe you smoked a little bit. Yeah. You know? Open the no 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 sunroof, no man. <laughs> Three oh five, wow. take it to the house. All right, so uh wow. God, there's two more. I mean, they're so good, I feel like we keep playing them, keep right? Playing them. I like uh, it. This is a Sean. Sison, I think. Doctor, we hate my mom. 
real effects that she had heard of. He turned out well this decision. Wanted to treat me as well. He was an old tiny Asian. I love it. This shit's great. It's got some auto tune going. They're is... all amazing. Yeah. But I, I, every time I hear him say old tiny Asian, I like it more and more yeah. too. And old uh, tiny Asian. This is crazy. I'm taking this file home, man. I'm going to be yeah. listening to this. It's a jam. Uh, the last one is Those Freaking Needles <laughs> by Big Milky. I once went to oh. see a doctor. We Circus shit. My mom. She wanted to see an acupuncturist. No, I don't think that's I can do enough. That no acupuncture, no more. Yeah, that's that one. Sorry, Big Milky. Yeah, you appreciate the out. effort and time, but I am um, tapping out. Big Milky. Really impressed though. That was amazing. With everyone but you. Yeah. Um, amazing, exciting. Yeah, very exciting. And to the uh, original guy, it must be a thrill to hear your original songwriting. <laughs> um, you know, put together with great musicians. Well, I wish you would, you, as with any artist, you want to see how they grow, how they evolve. Yeah. Will there be a follow-up to no acupuncture, no right. more? Right. Don't send it, though, but you should keep working on it. <laughs> it's really cool. Um. <laughs> I'd like to see what the follow-up jam is. It's so hard to come up with a second hit, but yeah, maybe, maybe he'll write. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, we got to talking about this topic a couple weeks back, and it has been haunting my brain. What's that? Well, I think you had mentioned that you I had, had mentioned you said that you were watching a video of of a R worded a weightlifter. Is that what you were saying? It was like a, an athlete, and he but he was what do they call it? Men, mentally disabled, retarded, and and. I don't know what the proper term is these days. So wait, wait. <clears throat> but I came to, and I started thinking about it, and I was like, what if there was an um, outstanding athlete in the world? Like, let's say a weightlifter who could really compete with the best of them, but he happened to be R-worded. Mm -hmm. Could they compete in the regular Olympics? That actually is kind of fascinating, and I don't know the answer, but I would like to get some answers. I'd like to know. I mean, it's, it's so I what mean, you're why saying couldn't is... They? If somebody, so there's obviously there's Olympics. Right. There's Special Olympics. Right. There's Paralympics. Right. Um, so you're saying if somebody is severely mentally disabled. Right. Physically can compete with the best of the with best. With the best of the regular can Olympians. Can they compete in the regular? That's what I'm saying. I think the answer, I think the answer would be yes, they can. Oh. Um, they're just, they're just, that's just never happened. And also it won't ever happen. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because I think there's just different. Why do you say that? You don't know that. I mean, somebody could be maybe mentally disabled, but their body, their strength could be so amazing. Okay. What if there's a runner and all they have to do is point him in the right direction and he, what? And he wins the race. <laughs> or maybe a javelin without the pointy end, but he can throw it really hard. Yeah. That's a possibility. I'm just trying to be more inclusive, guys. Oh, that's what you're going for? I'm trying for? to bring the mentally disabled into society, into the fold a bit more. Why Why segregate them? Is there a way you can Google, like, what's the most... Yeah, let's see. What, what are the records on some of those? You know what I mean? I just don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they're close. Because we're assuming that the Special Olympians are inferior in their physical aptitude than regular ones, right? That's why they're in their own category. This is Christina Pajitsky <laughs> speaking. Whatever. Yeah. I, I'm for them. I'm for equality. Are I'm there, trying to get uh, them to be... Type that and then records, right? Like. Yeah, like... See. Who's yeah. like the fastest? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe we could take the best athletes... And make them into teams, like a football team of just mentally disabled people. Oh my god! Because then I'd start watching football a lot more. If 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 you would start watching, I gotta tell you something. It's almost there. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if you you don't watch any football, but I see some of the post game interviews, and these guys <laughs> are right there. 
with the brain in They're injuries. barely stringing together sentences. <laughs> they're crying for no reason. They're, they're, <laughs> they're not, Practically R-worded. That's NFL shit. Now, now yeah. I would watch an entire team of R-word playing anything. Wouldn't that be way more interesting? There is. What are you talking what are you about? about? They're not like professional. Professional, no. No, but I want to see like ice hockey. I you want can to see, see it. It exists. No, it not yes, televised. It There's no league. No, in, in you have to because no one is like you who's like, <laughs> I wish this was on television. <laughs> <laughs> it's just family and friends. Oh, well. The... But you can probably get a ticket <laughs> and just sit there and laugh and laugh. I don't want to laugh. I want to <laughs> think it's more entertaining. It's, <laughs> and have people go like, what's going on with that lady? It's not, to, like, laugh. Ah, it's ah, not ah, to laugh. It's not to laugh. Oh, Shandor. Shandor. So, so anyone that's in the class Pognori. that says T20 is uh-huh. intellectual special. Okay. And okay. so for the 110 meter hurdles, uh, Shandor Pagnori from uh, Budapest, Hungary. Pagnori. Uh, okay. Has a and record of 15. Scroll down. That's my tribe. Scroll down there you go. Events. Let's see what else there is. Is there, I know, is there another, is there like 100 meters? Like not the hurdles? Oh yeah, that's up above. So these are the Olympians. But this is in, in the special Jose Olympics. Exposito, it is. So why can't they? This is I'm everything. Saying. And he ran, he ran a what? A 10.85? Yeah. 100 meters? Mm-hmm. That's, is that hey, good? That's good, moving. Right? Yeah. So what, how does that compare to... Usain Bolt? Regular Olympics. Yeah. It's like yeah. a, a yeah. second and a half slower, right? Is that right? What, what, isn't his record in the 100 meters like 9 something? 9.62? You're kidding. What's his 100 meters? Well, then they should be able to compete. Nine point five <gasps> eight. Yeah. Wait a minute. And the women's women's record, by the way, is ten four nine. So <laughs> you mean to tell me that? You so mean to four, tell me that? Four tenths of a second faster. The the R word. Will you stop? Why, why with do that? I call them developmentally retarded? They are <laughs> what? Disabled faster than the the world's fastest woman. Is that what you're telling me? <sighs> is that what you're telling me? I think I said it pretty clearly. I can't believe this. So this is 10, discrimination. 5, dude. This is discrimination. Oh no, that's a Paralympics record, dude. That that person has a a, a missing limb. Oh shoot. So is that considered an advantage because of no the, no no? The it's just, it's a totally different the... thing we're looking for. I think he competed in the Paralympics, but that's the class that he's in. The T twenty. Can you course. Google his name? Because it has his name there. Look up look up the guy. Yeah, check that guy out. Yeah, so if he's, then if it, then that that seems silly. That if it's a, just an intellectual disability, then Christ. they should be able to. This guy is fucking flying, dude. Yeah. So why can't he do the regular Olympics? Well, he's probably just missing it by you know. I don't know, second and a half, right? He looks like he has all of his limbs. All well, right. Well then, um, see, then he should be able to compete. With regular Olympians, why is he in the Paralympics? Let's he's see. not. He's not missing a limb. Yeah, yeah, this is discrimination. We need to bring this to the attention of the Olympics. You know committee. who's a good voice for that? Me. You. Yeah. <laughs> I think the way that you have delicately danced Thank around you. this you. topic, you have navigated <laughs> these waters in such a way yes. that I think those people would be yes. thrilled yes. to have you as an advocate. You got it. I'm just telling you, I believe in inclusion. And I grew up in an era where we saw all kinds of people around in the world. And mm-hmm. I'm being serious here. Okay. In the 80s, you'd go to the supermarket and the person begging your groceries would be a, a, a mentally uh, disabled. Yep. It's true. And they, I know. They, they'd go and get the shopping carts. And it was more normal. It was normalized to have, have uh, mentally disabled people integrated into society. And now you don't see them. You don't think so? I don't see them in society. I'm saying having jobs and being, uh, you know, having a meaningful part in the world. Yeah. I think it's good. I think we should. Well, I think you have a, a new cause to kind of get behind. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I wish you the best. I Thanks. Think you really have- I think it's TikTok that's really made me appreciate different All right. mental abilities. Let's move and on such. to uh, just let you know, by the way, that uh, if, if you are still in the market for some Josh Potter uh, sex work <laughs> videos it your your window is is shutting and it's shutting quickly uh, from what i understand he has up the price and he is now <laughs> saying adieu 
to this world, but it's just a final few, right? Is that what <laughs> is that the correct? Well, Josh has said he had a busy weekend on he, Labor Day weekend that he made quite a few. Oh yeah, he's done. Yeah, it's it's been pretty wild. Um, are you done? Not yet. I have a few more orders to take care of, and if you want to get in, you have a few <laughs> days to get involved. And then you're going off. Uh, I would like to take a hiatus because uh, this has just been. I'm just exhausted. You know, <laughs> I've lost my passion for the game. Mm -hmm. And yesterday being Labor Day, it was a great day to shine a light on us sex workers because <laughs> sex work is real work. I know. And um, yeah, you, you shouldn't discriminate against us. And we had to put out content yesterday, too. So I think if you are a sex worker, I hope you had the day off yesterday. Oh, that's wow. That's <laughs> really Maybe get it, go to the beach or something. Yeah, I'm, I really <laughs> feel for you, for you guys. Bothered. Look what I've done for the shoulder hair community, though. I mean, <laughs> any now, wants his own. Are, are you getting requests for just your shoulders? Is that what you're saying? I have, yes, indeed. What do you do? Like, um, I run a comb through it. <laughs> oh, uh, I tease it with oh. my fingers. Uh, I pretend a little bitch's dick gets lost in it, like it's the woods. And they're a little girl. All kinds of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Whatever you want, really. Do you pretend to begot in it? Like, do you ever do that? I haven't. That's a great, like, throw, yeah. I gotta throw ask jizz you. into it. Yeah. What's the, what, was the, what would be the price mm -hmm. that you would charge if somebody wanted to jerk off on your shoulder hair? Mm. Oh, my goodness. It would be... Would it, it wouldn't be, be realistic. I wouldn't jizz on myself. No, it would be so, someone else's somebody jizz. else. But they're just coming Well, Christina shoulder. and I had a lengthy conversation about body fluids. Yep. Yeah. And... I think cum is not as bad to me as like piss. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. That's it. So this is it apropos. Is we did that have a discussion crazy. off mic. This you is, are mentally this is, uh, we were I don't like piss. We were taping WMMA. Let me catch the audience and you up to speed. And we had this conversation as to what's the worst body fluid to have on your hands. And Josh ranks urine as number one. No, no, no. Yeah. Shit is the well, all time number one for well, everybody. For me, no, yeah. for me it's vomit. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm a vomit person. Number two is shit. Yeah, two vomits and two for me, but piss is yeah. pretty close to vomit. But I don't think piss is that big of a deal. I hate piss. Really? It's smelly. I don't like it. You, and I'm you, not a piss shamer, though. You, but you, do you piss in the shower? I forget. No. Uh, we've been talking about I that. I mean, uh, yeah, I've just been. I, it, I, it literally ugh. boggles the I mind. I piss in the toilet where it goes. But like if you ha like you're in the middle ugh. of the shower and you're going to be in there for another. I hold it because I'm not oh, a fucking uh, old man. Oh, my God. Yeah, but you have a. A pee extracting situation there. You can just you can no, you drain. don't. Down you have drain. a drain. Piss right in the drain. Why? Oh my god! Because you're standing there and you have to. Yeah, pee. Yeah, the water doesn't the get recycled yeah. and go back it's onto gone. your head. But it's your just gone. shower is shooting water down. Then your piss gets mixed with that water. You don't know what's what, and it's just on your feet. You're just standing in your just piss. Piss right in the drain. You have to yeah. piss directly into it. Yeah, yeah. And not let the water deflect it in any or way. Or do or or piss in your own mouth. <laughs> and then spit it out and just rinse it off. Or I'll just wait till the shower's over because it's not like it's any longer than 15 minutes and I can just piss oh my in the God. toilet. No, I no can't but I can't even anymore. hold in my pee when, when hot water touches my body and I have to and I have a full bladder, I have to pee. Of course. It like makes it imperative. Wait, are you like this too, Annie? No pee in the do shower? Do you not pee in the shower? Yeah, we talked about yeah, that. Yeah, you do. You also don't. No, no. And, no. and, and also Nadav? No, Nadav's a pig like no, us. No, he, yeah, yeah, he pees in. Person. He'll pee in a fucking yeah. pee in a pool, like anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pee in a hole that's not a drain. But, but Tom, what is your like rank the fluids? What would you least want to have on your hands? Is it shit's number one? Shit, puke, yeah. piss, more than jizz, jizz. right? Shit is jizz the most is detestable. Big, yeah. Where's blood? Oh, blood. Is Blood's like the lowest, right? <laughs> blood, I, I don't mind. Blood on my hand every month. Yeah. yeah. Blood, I'll fucking paint my face <laughs> with blood. I don't care. I don't care but yeah, blood. to answer your question, jizz, I don't, you know, if it's someone else's, I guess it depends on whose, uh, because I, you know. Well, your own jizz. Let's start. Oh, my jizz on my shoulders? I'll fucking do that. For but wait, me. what if it was? Look, entertain me for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some guy's like, I want to just come on your shoulders. That's it. There's nothing else. <laughs> Can I just do that? I want to come on your shoulder here. Well, I have to make it real, like in the in the frame of my price range already. I'm very high on demand. I'm right. no, making I think, hundreds I'm saying, of dollars. I'm every saying session. you should charge real money. Yeah. But I'm yeah. saying don't tell me like four million dollars. No, no, no. Like no. five grand probably. Five grand. That's a yeah. lot. That's a lot of money. No, yeah. that's too high. I'm sorry. To have just a guy come on your shoulder it's hair. His shoulder though. Yeah, I know, but five grand, like, that's bigger than getting actually fucked. 
you, no, uh, it's not. I don't believe intercourse. <laughs> I don't think I would charge less than getting, five grand. Getting <laughs> butt fucked, but I'm saying like the high to end get butt fucked. Yeah, I don't the believe end, that's. Well, how much do high end prostitutes charge to 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 do that? Stuff? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. a prostitute. Yeah, because you're you're we're right. talking about you're now. working ne- intensely sex working now. Yeah, now you're in okay, the real now, world. Okay, so she's in right. that case, she's right. I'm not a celebrity sex worker. Then I'm just your run of the mill. Well, you're no, just you. no, yeah. you're you're an, you're it, you're, you're Josh, podcast famous the comedian. Because well, in yeah. this moment, I am celebrity sex worker. So right. my rates are higher. If you want to have that's sex true. with me, that's an astronomical <laughs> that's amount. You true. know what that's I mean? Right. I'm sorry. That's oh, just that's the nature true. of the beast. I will tell you this: <laughs> if somebody is willing to pony up twenty five hundred dollars, mm-hmm. I will match it so you can come on Josh's. <laughs> God, touche. Touche, right? Is that even legal? Is that I don't fair? know if we should do that. I mean, it's fair to me. I said five grand. Yeah, that's so what I'm you saying. Got to match it. Yeah, all right. I'm down. <sighs> and and do they get to video this? <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Wait, is this to be videoed for cameo? Well, it's we for the cameo. person's records. I'd imagine they now, want it for their. Jerk but how do you sessions. know they're gonna keep it private? Like, isn't well, that I mean, an issue? if they don't, they don't. So know? just before <laughs> we depart here, though, mm-hmm. um, are you thinking of doing one <laughs> last increase? Uh, to like just say like you know this is my last. You know go I don't want it. to take advantage of the of the fans. A mm-hmm. uh, hundred dollars is where it's at right now, and people are still buying it, um, <laughs> which is <laughs> to be expected. Bananas, it's unbelievable. Uh, that is. Can I tell you? <laughs> fifth, I think you're getting more than like a lot of people on cameo. Oh, real from, celebrities. Yeah. Yes, I, know. I mean it. I mean it. A hundred dollars is very high. There's most in the fifty to seventy-five range. I from looked what up I've seen. every Buffalo Bill player that's on there, <laughs> and they're all cheaper than me. All of them. All. Oh my god. And they don't have nearly as many. I just spoke with my cameo team, <laughs> and they gave me <laughs> reviews. They they and the, and then the reviews. This is what cameo wrote me. So they go great reviews this weekend, uh, and they quoted the reviews and one of them said like Sue Wu your shoulder hair is glorious and I can't wait to see more feet videos stuff like that like and they're writing this to me so they're acknowledging that these are happening and they love it cameo wow. just wants their money too you know wow they're supportive of sex workers cameo sex workers that's yeah. quite the endorsement I'm, I'm sure they're not aware that they're promoting all right, uh, Josh, where are you going to be coming up? Tell us I'm going to be on Thursday. I'm going to be in Seattle at Chop Suey. On Friday, I'm going to be in Tacoma at Alma Mater. And on Sunday, I'm going to be in Portland at Mississippi Studios. And you can buy all those tickets on my Twitter at J underscore Potter or on Instagram, Josh underscore Potter. Oh, and uh, just so you know, a mm-hmm. girl came up to me at the store the other night. I'm waiting to go up, walks by. She goes, oh, just so you know. I don't know if I can make Josh come, but I'm willing to die trying. Wow. I was like, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> willing to wow. die. That, that yeah. might do it. Um, make Josh come <laughs> or die trying. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, you might be able to. Was she a babe? Uh, yeah, she was cute. Did oh, she have right. thigh tattoos? I don't know. She had pants on. <laughs> that's <laughs> but, nice. Yeah. It's a good uh, start. Anyway, just so you know, that's cool. out there. I'm going to have to go over there when she's there sometime. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> That was a good song we just did. Do it. Yeah. Wow. So, where are you going to be, Gene? Oh, I don't know. Oh, here we go. This week, Gene, September 5th in Milk Donkey, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, September 6th, Chicago, September 7th, Boston, Massive Huge Tits. Get your tickets. That's, that is this week, you guys. Do not sleep. And then I'm doing a residency at Flappers in Burbank um, for the next few Thursdays, September 12th, September 19th. And then I take a little break. And September 22nd, I go to Las Vegas for the Life is Beautiful Festival with Billie Eilish is performing. Unbelievable. <laughs> September 26th, I'm back at Flappers. And then October 3rd through 5th, Nashville. October 10th, again, back at Flappers. October 17th, Irvine, California. And September 22nd, Seattle. And then November 23rd, Portland. And I think that's it for my 2019. 2020 coming very soon. Yes. Christina P. Online for tickets. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Next week, I'm doing a little Southeast run. Memphis has a few tickets left. Greenville, South Carolina, a few tickets. And the Late Show in Durham, North Carolina, September 14th, has a few tickets. Uh, the rest are gone. The next time I go out, San Jose, uh, that's September 18th. And the LA show on the 20th has some tickets, a few tickets left. 21st is sold out. Santa Barbara 
is the 22nd. You can get tickets to that right now at TomSegura.com slash tour. Uh, let's see. Coming up after that, we have El Paso, Tucson. Um, there's a very few tickets left there. And uh, the late show in Denver at the Belco has uh, only a few tickets left. Then we go to Des Moines, uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, Sioux City, Minneapolis, Tits, and Fargo. You can get all those tickets at TomSegura.com slash tour. And don't forget that we added a fourth show in Austin. That's the 17th. At the, that one's at the Paramount. Um, New York is on sale. Both Kingston, New York on November 6th and New York City on the 7th. Uh, ben, ben Salem, don't forget that, is also up. Um, that's on the 8th. Very excited to be doing all those shows. TomSegura.com slash tour ah, yeah. has all those shows uh that's it for us thank you very much we're gonna have a guest coming up here soon it's time for a quick break Meow. returning to the show is a man who is smarter than you better looking than you all around just a more enlightened human being his mm -hmm. mantra is if you don't like what i say you can suck my balls it's dr <laughs> drew pinsky that was my private mantra yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, did yeah. you share it with him is that what happened? This is so, so weird. We this love you so you. much. I love you guys. Now yeah. we have After Dark here. Yes. I live love here. It. Of course. It's been such a great experience. And because of that, this is a totally different experience for me right now. Right. Than oh. the last two times I was on your show. That's right. First time, I was ignorant and ambushed. Yes. <laughs> Second time, I was ready and ambushed. Yeah. This time, I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, hey. what's Very switched? I, well, I, I've been sort of properly sort of conditioned through After yes. Dark. We get we sample. We sample so, from yes, you guys. Yeah. And so now I'm sort of on the team of Cool Guy Search. By the way, people, <laughs> uh, you're, you're going to get a cool guy oh, fucking I'm so excited. punch in the face. <laughs> I, I love but, cool guys. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, people love your show. I mean, I get, I hear it everywhere. Oh my God, and I'm I so love happy it. you do it I here. Me too. I'm so happy to do it here, and people love it. And, and people a great idea. who uh, are watching or listening now, Doctor Drew After Dark, every week. You can download it wherever you get your podcast, or you can watch it on our YouTube channel here at Your Mom's House Podcast. One day we will take calls live too. We'll That'd start be awesome. More love line he asks. We're sort of aiming towards that. Now we take your your phone messages, yep. which have been great. What's the number, Nadav? Two one three. You know that right voicemail? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know at all. Uh, okay. Anyway, you listen to watch my show. I give it out there all the time, and then emails, and we we really do appreciate the calls and the emails. Yeah, it's great. It's great, and then you. You kind of you dig deep with some of these comics, actors. Some of that stuff you yeah. believe. Some yeah, stuff, man. Whatever. It's yeah. fascinating. If you ever want to know what makes a comedian and what goes on in their minds, this was your goal. This was your, Dark. this was your goal well, to find out what's going on under the hood of the comedian. And you're yep. so qualified to delve deep with people, and I just and think it's fantastic. They're very nice and forthcoming, and some of them are. Yeah. Yeah. And you poor yeah. man, you're just bombarded with crazy questions, and yeah. it's so fun. That's so good. There's I all kinds it. of crazy things going on, though. There's people like, look, have you ever seen someone do this before? I don't know if you have. Am I but, looking here? Uh, yeah, that'll okay. be the screen to look at. Um, Dude, seriously, do you need to be doing this? Oh, yeah. You have. What are you doing? This? No, this is my favorite. What cool are you guy. doing? This was, this was the cool <laughs> guy. What are you doing? I, I went oh, home. Wait, what are you doing? He has no leg either, There's, too, right? No, he's an amputee. amputee. Yeah, he's an amputee. I think yeah. I ran into this guy. What? Really? I kid you not. Where? I seriously? think he's here. I swear to God, I did. I was. And I was like, I, they, first of all, it's math, right? Because oh. the you hear what the clue is? What dismantled bike? The, he's got a bike bar in his ass. Yes, in his ass. yes. It, it, he, they dismantle their bikes. That that the meth makes you just dismantle everything. You just start to really, yeah. You feel like things are in there talking to you or something. You start taking everything apart. TVs. Everything. So if you think things dismantled, that's when you a see meth the thing. bikes taken off of the sidewalk, yeah. the cops always ask, "Why are they taking the bikes apart?" Meth. That's it. Straight wow. up. Wow. Now, if you think it's cool. To stick part of the bike up your ass. Maybe it feels good though, right? Oh, I'm sure it does. Yeah, he's, he's keeping the sharp par parts away. But um, <laughs> I'm you know, sure he, here's it does. what here's. Do you know that this this is what prompted my little diatribe about homeless? Didn't not, not, isn't that what happened? That sounds right. Yeah, I I went this and I went. I got angry because our city, our love, great city of Los Angeles, is insisting that we have a housing problem. So yeah. there's a housing problem? Yeah, no. No. It's this is a mental health, health problem. This is yeah. meth and, and some other psychotic illness. And this guy needs help. I, as usual, I get sad when I see cool guys. Yeah. Well, yeah. here's the thing. No. I was misled. I got angry, though, with this one because like, <laughs> stop the housing hoax. Let's but, deal with the mental But you're mental saying that here. these gentlemen need a, a safe place indoors to put bike parts up their butts. Well, it would be nice. Yeah.
Yeah, maybe like the we maybe, should. Mr. Christine's on to something here. Maybe, yeah. ha- maybe housing is the issue, Tom. I, I think housing is the issue. Because yeah. if this guy had a room to do this then with, then it wouldn't right. be a problem. Be no problem. No problem. He'd just be a cool guy in a room masturbating, or like, would you call that masturbating? Well, that's what that, I was wondering. That's the thing is, I think he was What's just trying going to. On? Some people trying need, to clean like, it? need to watch a clip. <laughs> you know, some people need to watch a clip <laughs> and uh, put on some music to, to have their t- alone time. Yeah. Maybe this is him just getting ready to. You no, know, some people will do little, little um, stuff like that. I sent you something else. Oh, I sent you a video. Where did you see that? The cucumber challenge? Mm-hmm. I did, thank you. That mm-hmm. haunted okay. my dreams I for went, a long time. Did that you play that? I showed it I, to yeah. Tom as well. Yeah, we haven't played it on the show. Oh, good. no. Okay, I don't good. think we can. Oh, we yeah. can't? Yeah. Why? It's a surgery. I mean, it's like it, straight up surgery. Yes, it's straight up and surgery. Intestines Why? and stuff. What? Why can't we? This is, wait, I'm cucumber confused. Why can't you show intestines? The intestines. That's just the human body. Oh. You can show it's this, but you can't. You can show that, but you can't show small bowel. But this is blurred. Oh. He sent me the cucumber. So the cucumber challenge is where girls are deep throating cu- yeah. cucumbers. Right. But then Dr. Drew's like, here is, it's gone crazy. And it was re- been re- a cucumber in the intestines of someone. Someone swallowed one? No. No, they up the. Oh, up the butt? Up the, the bum. One of the, one of the, yeah. One of the disciples of this gentleman. Yeah. Uh, and, and I've always said, sometimes, remember, I, I always on these shows look at this video going, well, that's a surgery. That's a surgery. Yeah. That's, that's a disaster. And so when I, if I were to see something that size, like on an X-ray, yeah, uh-huh. that's a surgery. What and, is and this? It's not a, a simple surgery. That, For, is, that could harm. become a surgery. You now can, you a cucumber, you would need the yeah. surgery. Yeah, really? If it gets up there far enough, yeah. You can't just go caca and push it out. No, no caca. <laughs> this thing was. This thing was. It, oh, it, it, it was enormous. Right? I have a question. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. But you, you, you suggested that this guy's homeless. Caca cucumbers. Yeah, caca cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> That we were we were on. R- Where is r- the fart mic anyway? Re- it's right oh, it's here. Right here. Oh, are you ready? Uh, not ready. Just okay. Sure. That's at hand. Sure. We right. have ready to hand. Reliable. I'm sure. Uh, Heidegger was very interested in yeah. having Absolutely. fart mics ready to hand. Absolutely. Ready. He, uh, ready at hand. Ready at ready hand. hand. Re- ready reliable to. sources told us that this guy actually works for Microsoft. No. He is, <laughs> yeah. This guy is uh, is like in the marketing division there, and he was just like taking a breather. Just and this got into just, this. this. Yeah. This is afternoon. Um, this is how he delight. like just kind of blows off steam. Literally. Now, you, Dr. Drew, sidebar, I was listening to... That, strangely enough, that is a sidebar right there. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I was listening to... That's what to, he said. I'm just taking a sidebar. I yeah, did. Yeah. I was listening to Stern and they brought up... I don't know if you heard the piece on Fist Fest. I, I caught a little bit of it, yes. Now, yeah. I don't know if you heard the audio, but for those of you who don't know, yeah, it, the bad. gentlemen were fisting each other and going very, very deep up yeah. until elbows. Yeah. Now, me. is that what's no happening bad. there? And is that not, does that not kill people? You can. You can rupture the colon that way. You can? In the yeah. Rectum. yeah, yeah. And th- you can, this way too. And that's what concerns about this guy. I Rupturing mean, you can, the colon you can is the big. It. Have you heard that there's this phenomenon going on where people are, I guess it's not the first time, but it's getting more popular. Um, ingesting drugs anally to get high. Yeah, yeah, sure. um, have you? Heard, that's, a, that's an absorptive surface. You can right, get how about the smoke? Have you seen smoke? Heard about smoke? No. People will take smoke and blow it into each other's asses. Um, you gonna show me something? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Crack to crack pipe. <laughs> oh, so you get double crack. Right. So this guy. Uh, double crack. Uh, <laughs> triple crack. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crack on crack on crack. Blow it up his ass. Watch this. So no, he's getting high. Yeah. So yeah, the, guy, guy, the other guy's smoking too. So so Tommy Chong <laughs> is getting high. <laughs> yep. And then he puts it in the other guy's. Now is he eating the other guy's? Well, he's gonna. Now. But he's no, right no. now. <laughs> he's, this is all business. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is all business. So no, he can get high too. So it's so it's used. It's reusing cocaine. Yeah. Two people get high one hit. <gasps> yeah. You see? Oh, you I go. did not you even. Wanna, you wouldn't want to blow in his mouth. <laughs> I mean, that'd be gross. <laughs> <laughs> but what? <laughs> Is that an effective thing to do uh, that? I, I don't know. I would think not because so much of the cocaine is so effectively absorbed by the lung. That's the thing about crack. Uh. It's absorbed quickly and it goes right to the brain. Yeah. And that's, that's why, why it feels so, so good. Yeah. So, feels so, good, so you would rather blow it into the gentleman's mouth than his anus. Me personally? Right. Yes. Like we have to choose. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So wait a minute. I want to stop here for a second. Oh, please. Is this? I uh, just I just get these flashes like, oh, my career is over. My career is over. No, no. It's a, just the beginning. The California Medical Association is going to call what? me. What? Are you saying that like, What's that, going on here? if you had to take crack. If I had to. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Would you, like, is this a. Oh, would I like. Having Tom, it blown up your ass? If, if it were you. Yeah. Yeah. God, that'd be a tempting thing. 
It really is. You truly blowing smoke up my ass. It truly is. It truly is. It truly is. That would be quite interesting. Now experience. I've heard about people getting alcohol poisoning from ingesting yeah. oh, directly. Sure. Oh sure. But the, also, it's it could also you can't be, regulate what you're taking in. But you could also be a good time if you don't go that far. It could feel good. Yes, you get and high. And you don't don't get any of the reflux that I have to get. From how much should you do if you're going to do it rectally? Alcohol. alcohol? Yeah. You've got to be very super careful. People have died doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so it's like small, a case, small amount. Yeah. Okay. Case beer, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like uh, can you you can <laughs> so you just feel the effects quicker. It's rapid, yeah. really. Oh, it's we got to it very quickly. It just it's an osmotic right. gradient, right? It goes right in. Have you ever done it? No, I can't say I have. <laughs> no, you ever no. smoke crack? No, I you, haven't. No, no. I, I can't imagine I wouldn't like it. You know what I mean? Because it really is very powerfully rewarding. Everybody yeah. likes it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, but the problem is you can't not like it after that. So, is that how, right? how does that work though? How yeah. does it work where it, it activates the part of the brain that says do that again? Even when you don't like it anymore, that part of your brain is still green. You have to do that again. Really? Think about extreme hunger or extreme sexual desire or something like that, where it's just like, it's just in you doing it. And it's and it's actually deep enough in the brain, it's sort of a deeper, purer, do it again system, the, the nucleus accumbens area, that it just makes you do it. You just wow. have to do it and, and we all, you know, we're all built differently, different chemical compositions and everything. Is it something where if a, if a thousand people to get hit. Yeah. Are some of them going to be able to be like, that was crazy, but yes. I, I don't need to yes. do it again. Yes. They can walk away. Correct. And if you have the genetics for addiction, it's going to be on, period. It's going to be on. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> it's right. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to roll the dice because I'm just like. <laughs> well, you might as well do it with double crack. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> a- ass crack, crack. That's crack crack. That's what this is. Yeah. That's the I, name of that I, video. And in a million years, I never would have put it together that it's two two people getting high off of one hit. What did you think they were doing? I have no idea. Like my brain doesn't even go there to like, this is useful. This is a utility thing. This you was know? just fun. Yeah. I was like, this is just fucking crazy. <laughs> We've been wanting weather. you to weigh in on so many things. So I'm many ready. items. I am so, so ready. One of the things was this cool guy. Oh, <laughs> another cool guy. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> has his teeth. Nice teeth. Nice. What? And How could he be a cool guy with nice teeth? Well, here's mm. the thing. It's we we wonder is like is this all just an affectation, something he's putting <laughs> on, or is there something going on uh, deeper here? Okay. Right, here we so go. here's <laughs> Christina Dunham. Oh, this you is know, my like that though. Like breakups are hard. Don't get me wrong, ladies, ladies and gents, play boys and play girls. Woo! Breakups are hard, but you gotta realize. Yeah, do for, I think you know a sexy Italian boy like me, the most fucking drop dead gorgeous guy in this motherfucking state of Utah. Right, right, Utah. That's right. I've had him pegged for Provo. Yeah. That's yeah. A, <laughs> so, what do you think's going on there? Well, yeah, I, you think that's a, like a like an act for for the camera? It feels very much like an act. But then mm. part of me goes, is there something? Mm-hmm. Um, Triangularly plucked eyebrows yes. are a hint uh, that, that there's something real going on here, like a behavioral issue. Like this is him. Yeah, this is his yes. deal, and he's not from Utah. I don't, right. I don't care what he's doing in Utah. He's not from <laughs> Utah. Well, because and I believe he is wearing makeup. Yes, yeah. you're right. Uh, so makeup and triangular shaped eyebrows. I'm gonna just, just, just say a cool dude. <laughs> That's your assessment. He's just a cool super dude. cool. He's a super cool dude. Yeah. But like maybe can't hold down a job. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't hire him. <laughs> uh, the funny thing is, come on it, Tony. He we, he just started. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a little more you as always you have to analyze these things very carefully. Yes, Look please. at the vehicle. Oh, it's all yeah. chaos. Is that is that like a Plush. Is that can, like a can we velvet? play more though? I feel like this is not oh, indicative of oh his no. true essence. Oh, this is just a... get any girl in the state that yeah. ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are out of here. But play uh, the 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 the, the No part. shame, no game, baby. You want that old bull or that young buck, baby? Because I'm that young buck. <laughs> we are out of here. But like that to ass. be um, I mean Woo! like. Sometimes I, he, I, maybe he's he's overdoing a little bit of Tony. Right. Like, yeah. He doesn't want you to think he's too cool, so he's going to make fun of himself a little bit. A little bit, but but, I but also when you're like, you know, when you're so like, a lot of us have moments where you you're pleased with yourself. Yeah. Right? yeah. But it, like when it when it's really turned up, you start to go like, oh, maybe something is not right. When someone's like, almost like a manic way of being right. in yeah. love with yourself. It's mental yes. illness. It's nar- narcissism. Is that is that? And I need. I would need a di- more, another more, con. More, more, please. Oh, no, no. A oh, here it is. Ones. That's what I need. Another contact. I already went through a, you know, a, a twelve pack, but we up out of here. I'm about to go get me another sixer. You know what I'm saying? It is the weekend. Cheers, everybody. 
He just showed you that. Watch. Well, there are these people. <laughs> there, there's a whole. <laughs> there's a. Th- this is quite serious. There's a world out there of people that do these weird gender performance art things, mm-hmm. where they they become hypersexualized mm-hmm. versions of themselves, and and my daughter actually analyzes some of these guys and things, and just tries to, to as a as a cultural critic. Mm-hmm. So he may be one of those guys that's just doing a bad job. Just doing a bad job of yeah. putting on this show. It's, it's not going far enough, but maybe I haven't seen enough. Yeah. Drink responsibly. Uh, you know, take your Ubers. You know, take your, you know, cabs home. Because, you know, it's all about drinking responsibly. You know. Mm-hmm. You know, take your <laughs> Ubers. Got any more, take your cabs. You got another do not drink and drive this weekend. It's mostly this. I mean, I've Don't gone... Don't do it. It's bad. It's Anyways, bad. we are party. <laughs> got me a cold one. And we, you know, we doing it and moving it, baby. Let's do it. I'm going to say this You know, 2020 is, is right yeah. around this is the really corner. Who he is. Yeah, he's not going Ooh. far enough out to be a... Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I see the crack crack again? It's a little... It cleanse my palate. Well, yeah. the thing is, with Tony, is that there's not much variations on this theme. It's him being like, I'm getting laid tonight. Yeah, I'm at yeah. the ball. Woo! We're doing but, but there, it But there there. are people making comment on male right. sexuality. He's not that bright. He is actually that guy doing it. He's the real. He's the one they the make one, fun of. Yes, correct. He's a cool dude. Do He's you feel hyper, like... Hyper... What is it? Hypersexual? Is hypersexual. He narcissism? He, he, you know... Dumb. Dumb. Yeah. Beaten as a kid. Touched. Whatever. Simple. Touched, yeah. Yeah, TikToked. Basically. Gotcha. Oh, TikTok. Mm. Are we getting into that today? There you go. Let's Uh-oh. find out what's going on. I watch here. your Instagram now. Yeah. And I like, I want to meet. I want to see more. I want to see these people. I feel like Me there's too. something Let's do it. going on. If you can Let's do it on direct Draft. your attention <laughs> yeah. to that other screen. Sorry. Uh-oh. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, see you got to see this chick. What's going on yeah. here? Oh, so many cool people. Yeah. It's a lot. Hi. This is Abe Screech with an important question. Do you ever worry that you're retarded and no one is telling you? Well... It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, right? She's actually funny. It's great, but I feel like... She's not hundred percent drugs. But I think there's a new type of comedian being born on Instagram, yeah, or TikTok, or was this from TikTok? TikTok. TikTok she's brilliant, yeah. though. Yeah. I think that she's brilliant. Well, no, it is. I'm being serious. I, her timing's really funny. Yes, I think it's actually really a good, funny video. I think she's a new form of comedy. I think yeah, she's a new comedian. Now, yeah. is she mean? It? <laughs> is she just a cool chick? I mean, I don't, know. I don't think she's a hundred. I think this is she's a very funny there. clip, but I don't think she's all. We have any other ones for her? Yeah, it's hard. Um, so hard. It's, it's hard. Off an important point. question: Do you ever worry that you're retarded and no one is telling you? Well, that's all we have. I, I, I've gone through her feed, and a lot of it is her cooking. I'm making a keto meal of hamburger. But there's also she's like in the forest. Dark Some, something's kind of yeah, she looks out. like she's a drug addict. To got me, a shaved head. Yeah, she's she lives along with her cat. So, yeah. yeah. So I don't know if she's been in a mental institution because she mm. talks about drugs and oh, stuff. Yeah, I get the drug thing. She reminds me of the chick from uh, Euphoria. Mm-hmm. A little bit. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a good show. It's about cool people. Oh, it's all that about down. cool people. Yeah, it's all about cool. Drug do you out. feel like <laughs> this is uh, something that is okay for someone to do? Um. <gasps> ah! Oh! Ah! If you're listening, she's eating uh, bristles on a hard brush head. I what mean, can that do to your insides? Nothing. That's going right through. That's going right through? Yeah. What do you mean it goes? It won't cut up your intestines? Nah. It your... could. It, here, here's the rule of thumb. If it gets through your esophagus, you're good. Oh. Really? Yeah. They used to like open people up, but they swallowed a pen and stuff. Stupid. It gets. It goes the rest of the way. It makes it through your esophagus. It just gets but, lumped in with your if duty. If you notice, yes. If you notice, she lumped in with your duty. I've got to remember that. <laughs> yeah. And so, and so you, you, she was chewing them. Yeah. yeah, you know, she, she was she was breaking them down yeah. a little bit, which yeah. make them a little less mm. likely yeah. to stick. It's probably not good to do that, though. Well, right? I don't know, Tom. Maybe we should. Maybe the stuff we ought to do a show, we just adopt some of these things and try them. No. <laughs> Would you what? try that? Is that a... For you, Tom? Yeah. I don't know if I'm capable. I, I think you think can. You, can. you think I can do it? Nice. Look at your biceps. You can do anything. You have to You're do it with me. Break your nice teeth. Yeah, I don't look how break nice are those real? Are those real. veneers? All real. Before this, I show you this, this one, veneers here, but these are all real. Wow, do you think so white. That this is. <laughs> I want to show you something What's over happening? here. No, I'm going to show you something What's... here first. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so. so. Having my cup of coffee. So there you have it. Hopefully he'll do that. Anyway, besides that. 
still have the roses. They are decaying, but I'm gonna hold on to the Madonna, okay? Madonna. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So he bought roses for Madonna. I love him. Yeah. We must follow and, this man. Uh, <laughs> oh. I mean, they were twelve dollars and fifty cents, if I say. And it is uh, seven thirty in the morning. Uh, you're probably just getting up and taking a bath, right? I remember you had this expression last time, uh, stalking behavior. Oh, yeah. That's what this, <laughs> this is, right? This is stalking behavior. We must find this man. Yeah. Uh, oh, and really? we must stalk him. Yeah, because mm. you're not supposed to do we this. We must send the boys out. Yeah, we can. And rehearsing today? You're rehearsing, rehearsing today. today. Uh, you imagine how right. many people she so has I'll like see you this. on Monday, oh, my, my gosh. Love. He said, I'll see you on Monday, my love. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Which is exactly, you know, when Pam Anderson got uh, sacked, literally, yeah. by uh, Borat. You can imagine how freaked out she was. Right. Because she must have lots of these guys all the time. Mm. Right. Cool dudes. Right. Cool. So it makes her happy. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. cool. Well, I just watched... Um, There's going to be more from him. There's, Is he yeah. schizophrenic? You've, Is it delusion? Um, What's going on here? It, you, 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 there's no active delusions other than the delusion that he could have a relationship with Madonna, right? Dude, I just watched the one on Gwyneth Paltrow's. That one in detail. The One of the Discovery ID did a whole thing about it. That was one of the most stunning stories to watch where this guy mailed things and showed up and there was a trial and the, the fucking jury found him not guilty. What? And there's just mountains of letters and mm. just... It not guilty of what? Of a uh, harassment or so, whatever, some type of stalker. Do they charge. over overcharge him or something? <sighs> I don't know, man. I have stalkers. Do you the, have stalkers? One of the mm -hmm. one of the uh, like people who commented. You on must it. have stalkers. Well, there's I mean there's obsessive kind of fans, but you know I'm talking about these. No, this, I have full on. Really? Mm -hmm. One guy had, had to go get him. Really? Because he. My, it was my wife's was the crowning moment of my wife's. Uh, the, 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 I was never more proud of her. Guy was um, had a whole website dedicated to how he was going to destroy me and to kill me and to kill, to kill the kids and eat them in front of my wife. It's what? Some crazy stuff. Psychotic stalking, it's called. City of City of uh, Santa Monica. By the way, he smiled, uh, filed a small claim against me for having in, implanted something in his tooth that gave him erections. They took the suit. They took, <laughs> they took the, the suit. suit. And it was that. It was that. And I kept. I thought it was a joke. And I got the, when I got. It, I think I saw something weird online with this guy's name. And I started looking, and woof, there it was. Thank God I looked. And so my wife got way deep into what was being written online and stuff. And she called the police and got the detectives. And here's my favorite moment for her. She gets the police in there. And she goes, "Look at this. Look at this. Look what they're doing. He, this guy's talking about killing my kids. You need to get him. You need to get him because if you don't, I will." And she goes. She goes. I'm not afraid to die. Do you understand? I'm not afraid to die, yeah. and I will get him. Yeah. So, and they're like, "Calm down, Mr. Spinsky. It's like, we'll, we'll go, we'll get him." It's like, she's like, Be "Quick, because I'm going. I'm going to go get him." Yeah. And yeah. rip his fucking throat out when you threaten yeah. the kids, right? Yeah, yeah. Dare yeah, talk yeah. about yeah. my kids? Yeah. Well, this so, uh, fav my favorite. My I love it. Favorite Good moment. for her. Good for man. her. The worst part I of the, the I'm recap. I'm not afraid to die. I, know. Well, I say the same <laughs> That's shit. Intense. I ain't afraid to kill. Is what I would say. <laughs> Put my ass in jail. The worst part of the recap of that no. Gwyneth trial is that they go, well, she was a very unsympathetic like witness. And she was the one being, oh, how because she was aloof. Right, in right. In that. Well, when this, when my guy came around, I was like, they were like, well, it's a meth, it's a meth thing again. Yeah. And I was like, well, let's get him treatment. I, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. You know, that's, they were like, yeah. oh my God. I was like, they were like, not used to that, I guess. Yeah. Did they sure. arrest him though? They, they forced did. mandated treatment for yeah. several years and treatment worked. You, you never heard from him. And then you didn't hear from him. Longer story. Okay. okay. All right. So, well, <laughs> I'll tell you uh, someday. <laughs> maybe he'll fall. But in he did, ditch he did do well in treatment for him. Okay. Here's a story you got to watch on this one. I want this guy more. So we got to get him out for more. I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't like this kind of stuff. It's oh, creeps perfect, out. Perfect, Tom. We can creep. To uh, like yeah, it. thank you. Yeah. Creepy dudes. Mm. What's going on? Here? All right, story time. <coughs> what time? So me story and my time. friend were at a party, you know, at a friend's house, and he met a chick. You can never tell, but sometimes you can never tell if a chick, a man, or a woman sometimes. And, you know, he got probably the luck of the draw. And he took this chick down to my friend's basement down in the house, you know, and we're going to go do the chicka wong wong to her. And, and uh, cool. so he's down there, and they're getting in the mood, and he said, why do I feel like there's a log in your pants? He goes, ah, that's not that, ain't that. You know? Cool teeth. He pulled down the girl's pants at a seven-inch long. Oh, my 
fight for it. On it. Watch and the he bottom ran, lip. And he ran out of the house and I'm not gay, I'm not gay. <laughs> Found out the guy's name Susie. Nick named Susie. So, yeah. so that's neurological. Is oh. that? There's something wrong with his brain. Is it really? Yeah. No. Yeah. And, so, and did you hear? Did you hear the Chihuahua lady on Stern? The uh, no. she, the, the speech thing. She, it is on. I will the, listen. It, it was a Richard call to oh. a, from one of the uh, car trade, the trading trader. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, it, it, he, she spoke a little bit like this guy. So wait, yeah. tell tell me what's going <laughs> Southern, on. Southern, you like mean? like I, I can't characterize it, but there are a lot there. There are. Tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of babies born in this country every year that have unusual neurological qualities. Mm -hmm. uh, and this would grow up to be this. And mm -hmm. how would you describe this person? Uh, it might be a little bit of microcephaly if you look at the head there. And uh, it's just some sort of structural brain thing. So can this think, kind of uh, think Beetlejuice. Uh, yeah. So can this guy get a job and all that? Or possibly, no? it's hard to know how much impairment here, but uh -huh. th that is not a normal IQ. But may I? Uh, it is not normal. Problem. No, he's definitely not. And no, but this he's got could have cool teeth. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, could this have been discovered in prenatal screenings? Had uh, the mother gone? Pretty and difficult to do that. Really? Uh, but you're bringing up an interesting question because it's, it's just, be fetal it's alcohol a, syndrome. Uh, oh, it could uh, be. Right. Uh, hard to say. There's no church out on a hill. Here's what's interesting. Yeah. It, part of it is this dysarthria, right? The, 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 the mushmouthy thing. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's neurological. And he's salivating and, a lot when he speaks. Right. But what I find extraordinary is when you see cases like this, which there are many in our country, they always have a southern accent. Yeah. What, what is, is the correlation there? It's weird. Yeah. It's a regional. Yeah. Very funny. Uh, maybe it's something with the prenatal care or something. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing prenatal. But, uh, you know, not everyone is handed by God the full deck. Yeah. Right. It's the way it is. I, one thing I, you know, Christine and I are big Howard Stern fans. You, are you too? Uh, I, not as I, much I, as we yeah, are. Yeah. Not yeah. you guys. No. And, and, and the whack packers, I've now spoken to just about all of them, mm. and they all had severe head injury or, like Bigfoot, severe neuropsychiatric structural impairment. Mm -hmm. All of them. Interesting. They're not psych cases. They are brain injury cases. That's fascinating. All of them. Even Jeff the Drunk. Even yeah. Jeff the Drunk. That's not alcoholism, strictly. Right. It's, he had a car accident. He had a head injury yeah. first. Yeah. yeah. What about Tan Mom? She has a head Tan injury. Had multiple head injuries. Yeah, that's Severe right. that's head right. injuries. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Severe. And then yeah, Bigfoot is a developmental something. Yeah, something. But but how about how about sour shoes? Yeah, I love sour, sour shoes got shoes. hit in the head with a baseball bat. Oh wow! And then right. and then and then would stand up working. And had a severe. And started yeah, yeah, living yeah, yeah. in his car. I mean, right. he went to his Pepperdine student. Who all of a sudden, is living in his car after a head injury, and then devolves into the living at yeah. home and has these qu amazing crazy talents. I, uh, though. Yeah, I love Stern, but um, the, there's nobody I've ever met like Christina. So it's like, it's, he's saying that just generally, or in, rela or in relation to how she feels about Stern. Uh, I, I mean, you. dude, just both generally and how she feels like, about Stern. Uh, every, I, I walk into rooms in the house, yeah. and like from a distance, I'll yeah. hear like a murmur, yeah. and I realize it's you know some type of audio is playing, and then yeah. I just hear. Her. <laughs> I love him does she do so four, much. Does she do four hours a day? All, I mean, yeah. It's all the time. Was she was her relationship with Stern before you arrived on the scene? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so she's a since long term. Since I was fourteen, Ooh. I started listening when I went yeah. to my dad's shop oh. early in life. I considered. What did him, he think of it? My dad introduced me to Stern. What? That's what, how I started. How, using his voice, how did it? No, and what was just, the intro? He listened. This guy's funny, <laughs> and we listened to it on ninety-seven point one. And then on the way to school, I get to listen to Stern, <sighs> like in junior high. And then I worked in her, a shop. I love her dad, right? Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can have him. You and know, then, uh, we had a revelation. But Bongo uh, Fiesta about Christina. I don't know if you knew this or what you think <gasps> of this. Oh but yeah, I want to ask uh -oh. you. That. Very recently, uh -oh. and I mean, very recently, she just started toweling off. After completely showers and i was like what let me she was getting dressed wet and then what? i was like did you like that and she was like no it upset me every day every what? day my whole life dr drew but she was hit with a bat also i was not <laughs> no i so, think what has, she needs to make a few instagram yeah. posts so we yeah. can like analyze yeah, yeah, be yeah. objective about this well no here's what i do i get out i would get out why of the do you shower. do that i would get out of the shower and i just wouldn't completely dry off because why? i i was anxious i i feel like it's a waste of time and I would just be like, oh, I just want to get on to the next thing. So then there, I would there has hurry. To be, there has to be some sort of reinforcement to that behavior. It's too non-psychological. You know what I mean? It's, no. What do it you is mean? behavioral. 
you're yeah. getting something out of it. It's, I'm it's hurrying. reinforcing I'm, something or it's convincing myself that I I'm even actually was like, saving on time. top of stuff. I'm a time saver. Time. I'm a, you know, I'm yeah. an efficient person. I would even say, you know, because there's usually most I feel people, your dad here. It's a time I feel saver. your dad like beating you up I or something at times or somebody. Somebody, somebody was like, Christina, Christina, Christina. Hurry up. Yeah, my yeah. mother, because I was okay. very, I, you are too slow in the morning. And yeah. she put I me hear on accent. schedule. I, I literally yeah. heard an accent just yeah. saying that to her. And I, she, I, said, I she had an accent too. You had five minutes to have a shower and then you get dressed and you have the thing. And okay. she was time always, time put, was a deal in the morning. Put that away. Yeah. yeah, right. I know. Put that away? The mom shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I'm in therapy. I, yeah, okay, I do okay. it. Come okay. on. Okay. Once well, a week, bro. But, yeah. And you stop the... I stopped the behavior and now yeah. I take my time and good. I do better yeah, self-care. Excellent. And I wear the clothes I want to wear. That's another thing I was doing where I was like, I can't wear this, I'm saving it. For was your mom for also from the same country as yeah, your dad? Yeah, both from Hungary. Oh, yeah. They escaped in 1969. Both smart? Super smart? I don't know about that. I mean. Hungarians are super smart. A lot yeah. of them. Super smart. Some yeah. of them. <laughs> Now, wait, can I ask you one side? Uh, yeah. The very serious question, too. Yes. Oh, yeah. We discussed a woman on the show, um, a friend of friend of his. This woman used to have intercourse with her boyfriend when, when she was on her period. And then she would insist on licking him clean <laughs> after. Yeah. Now, some sort of like, she's like a... Like a like you want to know the cat. craziest like part? Like an elk or something. <laughs> <laughs> like she's a, like Dude, a, this is the craziest a part. She's a doctor. What? Yeah. yeah. She's a doctor. What's that? Does she claim she's what kind of doctor? Um, it was like ear, nose, and throat. <laughs> um, Where I look at him, he's like, it's not even a doctor. Well, no, I'm thinking, thank goodness she's limited to that part of the body. Yeah. <laughs> she was but, turned on by it, man. She really oh, she was it. turned on by it. Yeah. So she, first time first time they hooked up, she was on her period. Wait, wait, and wait. We well, have to sit back, this. Dr. Drew. Oh, because the camera. camera in front yeah, of your sorry. camera? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I wonder what's bothering Tom. Sit. No, he's not a doctor. So the first time they hooked up. Who's the, what kind of, Cool guy is the guy. The guy, the guy is actually <laughs> was a, is a, a successful. These are they're both like not a comedian, not a comedian, okay, okay. working in the private sector, doing well. Okay, and, he had and, recently and, divorced. Meets her, meets her. I think on an app. Um, she's she's a, from this country. Yes, she, yeah, yes, she's and American. and uh, American. Hmm. Yes, she's American. So there's no weird practice that we're sort of coming upon. No, here. Okay. and so the first time they they do it, she you cannot does judge the, Tom. You cannot judge. Right. She goes, <laughs> hey, by the way, you know. I'm on my period and yeah. almost like how is that going to bother you? Yeah. He's like, we're adults. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Does it, you know, obviously there's something to clean up. She's like, Oh, I'll clean it up and just starts doing it herself with her mouth. And then he's like, Holy shit. And you know, was, they it, go was it, was it like immediately upon climax? Fear and intent. it's, Oh, Oh, is there yeah. somebody cool going to be no, part no, of no, 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 no. That was a, immediately a part of the climax, and therefore it's just part of a hey, I'm in. It was I'm just do it. I'm showing you how into you I am. Kind he of. He said that she was like, you know, we're done. Like it was sex was Time over. To clean up, and it's like, uh, I'll, I'll clean you up. And you and, thought uh, she was going to go grab a washcloth. Yes. Oh. And that well, yeah. they had sex again, like a month later, uh -huh. and this time she just like went for it, and he was like, it was freaking me out you know so so he timed it so she was on her period again no no like they had sex over the course of the next of the next few they weeks. were regular partners now so they're, they're in a relationship they're, they're starting to date but, but then when she had a period when, then that, she was like she decided it's time to clean up again. yes right <sighs> yeah. what's going on there is what that is okay is it okay there? to lick up your own menstrual it's, blood? Like, it's like like dogs licking off the placenta yes so yeah it's like it's really? hot right no, oh. I mean it's obviously a, 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 a primitive kink, some kind of yeah. Kink. What I, is I, it? I, I wonder if she thinks she's showing something like like I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm, I'm hot. Nasty. I'm into you. I'm nasty. I'm that into you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's the best I can make of but it. But she likes mm. it. I mean, that's not her that's first. That's the time. worst I can make of it. Yeah, yeah. That it's something. I don't think it was like I like you. She's like I like my blood Ugh. and and. Is I that do a this thing? Can people I've enjoy never, the taste of their I, own menstrual You were the blood? goth chick. Maybe it Not, was, didn't uh, you go into vampire ever? I know. No, that was lame. I think we knew. Like that's just ridiculous. That's okay. ridiculous. Yeah, I'll, I'll wear a. Oh uh, yeah, I'll wear a cape yeah. in the summertime, yeah, but I'm not going to yeah. eat blood. So I don't know. I've never heard of this. You never heard, heard of it. Really? Never, never heard of it. Heard of uh -oh. this? Wait, hold on, hold on. No, I have the question for Doctor Drew. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is there something unhealthy about drinking your own menstrual blood? Can it harm you? I think you're fine. sucked only a few minutes up the road. He used to clean our house, and I used to uh, suck him off. I think I've seen this guy. You have? Suck him off this is the guy that's married. My wife, yeah. Liz, was yeah. in the other room. Yeah, this guy. My cock is hard now. At the floor. Yeah, I didn't dig this Adults guy. Are hard, this is not a cool dude. Telling you this. It's a good story. You want to hear it? Well, I mean, I, I just he just know. and he, he has sex with guys, lots remember? of guys, yes. like guys, and he's married, and, and he's like he's, fucker. She's a dumb cunt. Exactly, yeah. that's yeah. the part that I found. I don't care if he thinks that's funny or hot or whatever. It was disturbing. It's retaliatory. 
I don't know what it's it was. Literally, it was my laser. favorite part of my of the clip. But okay, what, that's your favorite part. <laughs> yeah, of don't course. Believe him. Well, can we? True. Is that coming? Fuck is the it? wife. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Fuck yeah. the wife. She's yeah. a cu- look. How much yeah. Drew loves that. <laughs> that's great. Look, you really tickled <laughs> him there. Great. It's tickled great. him. The two it's so you. disturbing. It's so disturbing. So disturbing. Yeah. Such a ba- he's not a cool dude. He's a bad dude. He's blowing and swallowing that cum. Yeah, he loves it. He loves it. But just as sort of an f you to the wife a lot. Yeah, a lot of really aggressive act. He's having sex with guys at his wife. Yeah. So and he weird. Said, and he says in some point, he's like, I've done it thousands of times. At his wife. Yeah. Yeah. At that her. to me is so disturbed. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's, 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 get, if he you has, hate your wife, he has get, contempt for her. Yes. Contempt. You get, yeah. Which is a bad emotion in relationships. Yeah. And get, yeah. get, get divorced. Get, go have sex with guys. It's it, all good. It's all, yeah. yeah. Now, isn't that interesting? I, I remember watching a study about contempt and they yeah. would study yeah. a married yes, couple yes, and if they that, showed contempt for one another, that was an, an indicator yep. of divorce. Yep. And every time he shows contempt for me, I go, ah, ah, contempt, contempt, that's a sign of divorce. <laughs> as he shows contempt right now. Yes. <laughs> as, he, as he issues. Does, he ever, does she ever show you contempt? Oh, I'm sure. Uh, because I think, I think really what that study shows is when women show contempt, that's when it Oh, happens. is that right? When a woman is like, <laughs> no. You fucking asshole. No, contempt is a, it's destructive. It's a destructive yeah, emotion. Contempt. And you can, you can show, and, I, and I've, I've, I, that study's been around for a while, and, and I've watched that a lot to mm-hmm. try to see how accurate that is. And I've noticed that people can come back from contempt. They mm. can, but they have to really like be aware and be able to sort of reconnect after somebody's expressed contempt. You have to be flexible. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. You have to be one of those couples that doesn't have to win. If you uh. if you argue to win, where one person has to win, the other, then the whole thing loses. And then contempt can really. So I think it's like there's a, another element of of how maybe how you fight. You reconcile. You you, you just nice don't you don't yeah you don't argue to win. You argue yeah, to, to annihilate the other no, person. Yeah. Can you sure. get a like, ru- like Tom does? Get it. Mm-hmm. Like what if you get a rush from that contempt though? That's what energizes you. You know, that's the fuel of the relationship. Stop. Drew sometimes he believes you. I think Drew doesn't realize you're not being honest. He's in that. If that's what you're into, man, it's good. It worked for you. Speaking of things you're into, yeah. One of the, so we've been encouraging people to sell their panties and their feet pics yeah. online. S- and sell them, yeah, because it's a whole. There's a whole market there for it. It's and a if lot of money to be. God, made. I heard something. Somebody was selling their bath water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes, that Delphine yeah. girl. She's mm-hmm. so, yes. and it sold out. Like people were like, Give like it to instantly. Me. Yeah. So and what did they do with it? They were drinking it, drinking, yeah, masturbating, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one thing, one thing, it, this is the one thing when I hear those kinds of stories and look at cool guys, it just, it just, <laughs> I just think, God, men are just such a mess. Yes. Males, the male, if we didn't have women to contain there us, yes. yeah. we just spiral. We what just is spiral that? out. What is that? Why is that? It, Why is that us and not them? Because we have that. We have high, it's 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 the it's the testosterone it and is, the drive right? and, and how that drives us crazy and then we just if we have any psychological wrinkles that get into the mix just <laughs> we just go we just spiral. Should we just eliminate so testosterone from your bodies? Would that well, help? That wouldn't I, be we so just good. need we need women more. Um, I don't want to give women this responsibility though. It's not your responsibility. It's not do my it. job. Do it. Do it. Tell, well, say we, it. I'm going to say less guys like that guy. We we need to be. Uh, ah, it may put it back on us. We need to be more. Res- pay attention to our female compatriots. Really yeah. pay attention. I know Thomas. I know right it's now. rough. Mm. I know it's tough. You'd be more cognizant of your impulses. But just maybe. know that their impu- You know that, that women have. You know maybe a little better. A little better brain in that sense of yeah. not yeah. spiraling and let that, let that let that brain contain you. Impulse some, control. Yeah, Jesus a lot of guys Christ. don't have it. We, we spiral. And here's the other. Yeah, you guys okay. are murderers and shit. All yeah, the yeah. um, all the thing, all the like most I should say not all, but most of like the. The sexual charges, the deviance, the yeah. all the fetishes—they're yeah. like all men centric yes. and yes. geared. Yeah, so, but one fuck? of the one I feel like most of them, I go, oh, I get it. Like that makes you come right? right for most of them. Yes. But the one that I was like, you know, this one's kind of, kind of an interesting psychological factor to it is financial domination. What? This I is where this? this is where a guy. I thought you were gonna say like bug crushing with heels or something. No, <laughs> no. because even then I go, yeah, I it makes you come. Right. Yeah, but cares? but this is the one where the guy goes. Where the, the 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 girl, the dominant person goes, send me your fucking send me sixty dollars oh. so I oh, can yeah. I've seen, heard of this. get lunch or whatever. And yeah. then the guy does it and it's like, oh, like she's controlling me and yeah. I'm giving her my money. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like as a like what thrill would that provide for a man, right? Like why would you want to you basically are paying for nothing. you don't get anything in return. Yeah, that's, that's part that's, of the that's part of the thing. Yeah. You know? It just feels like such a I don't know. I gotta think it's about enraging. it. It's enraging. It's enraging you. Yeah. 
Uh, and I can understand that. And, yeah, but well, I, I feel like yelling at someone that like, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> I know it's so it's so, but it, it they want the feeling of being dominated, mm-hmm. and you can't do that right. unless you're submitting, like really submissive. It's, it's it's a symbolic submission. It's it's a piece. It's an offering to the dominant one. It's okay. almost like the way people yeah, in my head. I'm having these strange experiences today where I'm getting images and things, but I'm imagining people like, you know, bringing fruit to the God mm-hmm. and, you know, supplicating themselves to that. It's some weird impulse that's gone sexual in the man because everything yeah. goes sexual in males, right? Right. I mean, all, all the cool, decent impulses. The cool guys. Well, the, the cool guys do this, but the simple, de- decent impulses that humans have, men will take and attach sexual material mm. to it and just, yeah. and just trash it. God, it's so disturbing. Yes. You guys are the worst. Okay. We are. Now, may I ask you one thing okay. about one of our employees, Any? He's not here today, uh-huh. but we discovered that Any only goes BM. He makes a brown maybe once a week at best. Ooh, yeah. good for him. And he's, Is a, that, he's a thin dude. He's Does thin. Does he eat very much? Uh, he eats a lot of garbage, he said. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, very thin, like, you know, lean Tall, guy. long, and lean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, doesn't really exercise, but um, I said, like, what do you eat? And you know, not a lot of fruits. He's not here. That's the worst. I yeah, wish, he was, I wish here. he was here. I'm trying to see if he works on my show or not. But, uh, and that's, does that's he my, work on your show? Those are my guys. I think you've met, yeah, I think you've met him before. Okay. Well, I, you, you, are, you three are who I think of as our show. These constantly shit, these three. are. Yeah. These guys oh. have no problem yeah. shitting. Oh. But <laughs> any, one, I go like, you know, when was the last time you shit? He's like, well, not today, not yesterday. Okay. Not well, people before. get very worked up about their shits, uh, right? Yeah. Some people are like, I have to shit three times a day. I have to shit every Reality is, you could deal with every three days. Really? Yeah. And that's a, almost once a week, right? If you really sort of... But he's going five, seven days, he says. That's a little rough. That's and then he rough. says, I go, are you, are you uncomfortable in yeah. those five or seven? Nope, don't feel an urge. I'm not, he's not f- like feeling the tug and then ignoring it. Yeah. And he says when he does go, it's a lot. Like it's, he's making up for lost time. Okay. So is that okay then? It's okay. I mean, yeah. it, you get, get, people are weird about their colons. Colon, the inside of the colon is outside your body. It is not in your body. It the is outside of the colon. Say it the, again. The lumen, the tube down which the brown goes, mm-hmm. is outside your body. I don't understand. Your GI system is a tube from your mouth to your anus. Right. With the tube is outside your body. It's not inside your body. How it's is it outside, outside your body? body? It's a tube, and everything inside the tube is not. It's, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's like separate from all the other. It uh, it, I see. What, it's not it's, a. T- okay, okay. It's, not, it's within the, the tube is within your body. I understand. But I the see. The contents of the it's tube really are connected to the outside world. How about okay. that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and whatever sits in there in the colon, particularly the colon, is designed essentially just to remove water, mm. and whatever sits there is just drying out. It gets hard, and that's and how you they, get constipated. Now there are there are issues around the biome. You know what bacteria live in there, and you know this is a very complicated area that people are studying. But it's not clear that the anything in and around those bacteria make any damn difference. You know, it, it's in other words, if he has a normally functioning gut, a normally good biome, it sits there for a couple of days. It's designed to keep that sitting there for a period of time while well, it just takes the water out. Yeah. Okay. Not, that's why the idea of these enemas and stuff is so bizarre. Oh, I know. And, and I don't believe it detoxifying What nonsense. does that mean? It's what not, does detox mean? Yeah, it's horseshit. Uh, here's what I do. Give me a piece of paper. Yeah. Here, just just yeah. give me that one right there. So uh, here's what I say to everyone with toxins, that they're toxins. You need a pen? Nope. I mean, you have you. Just just write down the chemical formula of one of the toxins. Just one. No, no, no. Just yeah. one of the toxins that are being removed. Right. Nobody knows what yeah, they mean. Stupid. They, they're, it's stupid. It's just yeah. some weird concept that humans have. If And by the way, even if you could write the, the molecular structure of the toxin, what's the chemistry of how it's removed from your body? And right. what's the chemistry of how it's doing damage? Just just, just the stoichiometry. Right. Just print it right. down there. Simple. I yeah. won't ask the biochemistry. Just the basic chemistry. <laughs> And what Nobody about this when, when people fill their anuses with coffee <laughs> or they do these um, Feels good. these colon I'm gonna, flushings? I'm going to have lunch, with, not, Ro- I'm gonna have lunch with Robin Quivers and see what she gets. I know. Of she I'm loves that stuff. I think it's that you for, you get an osmotic a di- a diuresis because you're, you're putting what? something hypertonic in your colon and water comes out. Because water, it's, absorbed, it's, it's designed to absorb water. It can also go the other way. But it's supposed to be, you, the, the real thing is that at the end of this, you just feel good. That's you feel what someone empty. Keeps doing right, good. right. So well, you're, yeah. lo- you're diuresing, you're yeah. losing water rapidly, and you're getting a bunch of caffeine. Yeah. Uh, that would sound, that feels good. I'm sure that feels so good. So the thing you should do is do a coffee enema and then drink a six pack through your anus. And you get the benefits oh, of being and then take some dehydrated. Take yeah. some Lasix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking perfect. <laughs> um, so I took a picture of this Oof. guy at a casino on the right. 
and you'll notice is that where i'm going today uh it might be yeah. actually yeah i think, so. I think it is um but like this guy you know at first i was i was like oh you know you can't really see he much. doesn't have a head yeah <laughs> He has a <laughs> dropped head syndrome. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's one There's of There's something the, called ankylosing spondylitis that can do that. What's that? It's a disease of the spine. Uh, I mean, it's funny, but... Is he old, old? He doesn't look that old there. <laughs> he he yeah. was kind of old. Yeah, because old of, people get this, can yeah. get this progressive How drop. do I not have oh. this happen to me? Oh, God. You know what? My mom had this. Had oh, this? No. At what yeah. age? 90s. Oh. 90s, yeah. oh but is dear. that supposed to happen at that age? No, it's not supposed to happen at any age. But really? it does happen. Why? But I mean, if is it happens it? in the 90s, it seems like this is... It's debilitation at that point, right? It's okay. your yeah. musculoskeletal system kind of collapsing. It's Right. Like, but this guy, he has no head. He's a yeah. cool dude. I is like it, him. Is this yeah. pro- stop. Is this preventable? Uh, I feel like just doing question. this, like it's posture. Uh, uh, yeah, if, a lot, right? I have a, I, you don't see people that lift a lot of weights getting that problem. Interesting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Or Pilates uh, twice a week. Or Pilates or, or ball, ballerinas or anything, right? You don't. Yeah. There's, yeah. But but uh, mm. there is a certain version of this that you can't help. Right. It just happens. It's just bad luck. Uh, is your anniversary coming up? Coming up. Have you thought of getting something sexy to say to your spouse? Oh, are we going to get coke? all of y'all beautiful women. <laughs> I love this. You feel me? I do. Just let me eat you <laughs> one time. Just let me eat you one time. And you're going to, I guarantee you, you're going you're gonna to ask me to stay to your house. You're going you gonna to sleep for three days, my baby. Three yeah. days? I didn't yeah. want to put her to sleep for three days. Maybe you do. But I will, I will use his coaching up and yes, nice. his language. guess what it's romantic i can show you what time it is sure enough i tell you they got a man up above slow down i want to start with that cook for okay. you oh i'm sure i'm gonna show your... you what time it is want to yeah. tell her okay yes, yes. isn't that am i doing a, a cultural appropriation if i do that I'm no of okay, course okay, no, okay. No, someone will say it's great yeah. okay great. house you heard me listen when you come home baby you just gotta jump and jump Jump in the tub oh. with all them bubbles. Okay, oh. can we... Before, he wants you to have a clean puss before yeah, he eats it up. throw up. I, I, I don't need that necessarily. Yeah. <sighs> Go ahead, Christina. What's the matter? Guess you don't what? like how he's I'm with you 100%. I hate this. Get I with that ball. I'm going to show you. I don't I'm going to make it. you cry. It's not, it's not a medical question. Yeah, yeah. I have, an, I have I find, a medical question. Uh, but I find so what? interesting. We are ruining the clip. Are we talking through the clip? But here's what I don't understand. Here's what I find fascinating. Is we each have our own thing that we just can't tolerate. Yeah, and we've found one for Christina. Oh, that didn't please! Know it this is a well, one of many weird really? toothless guy who wants to eat my box. You think that's weird? Is it's it? The, is great. it that you're grossed out by his mouth? Yes. So his mouth makes you. you well, so, it's yeah. The mouth. Honestly, so you have a thing about mouth. I a hundred percent. I did not I was know that about you because when I girl. walked in here, you were talking about my teeth. They and, look great. And, and look, and, I'm and married to somebody that has great, decent great teeth, teeth on a scale of one to ten. They're an eight. They could be wider. But all these cool dudes have screwed up teeth. I know, and I don't like it. I so, don't like it. You're scratching your head if oh, I was so so You're picking at yourself. I don't like it. <laughs> well, okay. Well, so that's what you don't like. It's not that he's the romantic, his romantic prose. The, me- the mental illness doesn't bother me. It's the teeth. I, I think that's a drug. And act. him putting yeah. his mouth on my mouth or on my vagina, like the thought yeah. of his mouth on my, v- my clean, beautiful vagina. What's he smoking? <laughs> I don't want this one. Uh-oh. I don't like this Why? either. Why? I didn't... Why? You'll see. Uh-oh. Oh! That's not a fucking joint. Oh! What could cause that? Oh! It's bad, right? That poor dude. Yeah, he's a on cool guy. Back. He is a cool guy. Ugh. Oh man, and have had so much in his uh, gastric contents. Poor oh. guy, he must have just drank just, a bunch of beer. Or I something. know. It's and, all uh, brown. And I don't know. It's green. Okay. And, and uh, uh, it's a tan. It's yeah. tan. I like going. I like the forward and backwards that they put. <laughs> you're going to you're going to chase Christina right out of this building. Between these two lovers. Yeah. So I don't know what was in that joint. Uh, yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. It's weird. It is weird. But something emetic. You would think it something so disgusted him so completely that he threw up and, and not just threw up like. Like projectile, like not. I wasn't okay, ready for it. Thank you. Okay, you ever, thank you. you. That's enough. I didn't do it. Do you ever? So, so she likes the brown and the farts. Yeah, but not learning, the vomit but, and but eating not the and teeth, dirty guys. Anything, anything with the mouth. It's all the mouth and the soft. Hundred percent. You nailed. And have, have you ever vomited? Are you like, are you vomitophobic kind uh, of thing? Oh, uh, huge! I'm an emetophobe. Yeah, huge. Yeah. Last time I vomited, 2002. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Was that traumatic? Yeah. We vomited during the pregnancies. Never. Uh-huh. Not. I have, I'm a vom- I have not vomited since 2002. So I, I didn't. Food poisoning. I have. Do not play that again. <laughs> I, 
I didn't know that Tom liked torturing you. You didn't know that? I, I, well, I knew he tortured you, but I knew he liked torturing you. Loves. Yeah. It's the contempt. But, but he, is it a form not, of contempt? That, that's not contempt. That's what joy. Is that is, is joy. joy. Okay. It is joy. joy on his face. Okay. Does, well, can but, I tell you something? Please. That Related to this guy. So I, I love this guy. Yeah, I think I like he's one too. of the greatest guys. <laughs> yeah, he's a cool guy. Of our generation. <laughs> yeah. And he's one of those guys where you think that He's like, selfless. He wants to give. He's all he wants to oh, do. He just wants you to have a clean box. Let's happy. Jump in them bubbles. Yeah. But I was like, you know, this is the kind of person you, you see once and then they, they're they gone. Yeah. yeah. Um, He's but a, you it's know, not. Snowflake. I'm going to play with your booty and your kitty cat, but I'm going to put my hand in it and I'm going to smell it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yeah. He's just back. He's into it. Yeah. He just loves women. And that's the thing is like, I mean, I don't know, understand why you're not even turned on a little bit by and, someone and, like that. It, <laughs> and whenever anybody says, I, I, I to you, yeah. you're, you're going to be into it. I, I, I. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> One love. One love. You think it's a game? Right? It's, game. it's not a game. I ain't going to play with you, my baby. I'm going to put my hand in your kitty cat. <laughs> no, in your face. Oh, my God. In, in a weird way, he's, 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 sort of a, he's sort of a version of the four-stroke guy. He yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. He's like right before you go to the shelter that the four stroke guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. the you know, month and, and before the Just arrest. in terms of his into it, his yeah. into itness, he's just not gay. The other guy was gay, right? The other guy's gay. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. just, this is his into itness, but he's yeah. heterosexual. I would Good rather um, blow crack into a homeless guy's butt than have this guy touch my vagina with his Good to dirty know. glove. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd rather smoke a lot mm-hmm. of crack. There's so, um, so your new podcast is it yeah. similar to this? Yeah, it's the same shit. <laughs> same stuff. Where my mom's at? Will I, you please come on it? I think you don't have to be a mom. You just have to be a parent. I'm coming. Yeah, I, can't, I, I think, have so I many things I to think ask it's lined you. Up. I think it's lined up. But most importantly, I've been dying to ask you this question. Okay. We were out um, at dinner with a friend, and I mean, we've been wondering this for so long. How come when you pee, um, you can't control your farts, and it's embarrassing? You're at the urinal. Well. Um, it's harder if you're a female, right? Because you're sitting down oh. and all the pressure there, everything, yeah. everything so is relaxing. When you're pregnant, forget, forget it. it. Yeah, you just uh, men. We kind of learn to kind of, we we sort of have to push a little bit to get it to go, right? Mm-hmm. But we're what we know we need to do it there because that's the appropriate place to do it in case we save one in the chamber for later. We don't. <laughs> but Tom may want to share it with you as he oh, often he shares does, it does. But the average yeah, guy will push a little bit. There's there's a relaxation of the pelvic floor that makes it a little bit more easy. Yeah. Now I will tell you as a prostate prostatectomy patient, mm-hmm. it was a little weird. That was the one weird thing that was a little weird. There was a little disconnect between evacuating the bladder and trying to figure out what to do with the backside. Really? It just wasn't coordinated normally. You mean you, you, it, fart, you couldn't more? fart and pee? It, it just felt different. It was like mm. hard to like... Was I, it harder to control? It felt like maybe something else was going to be released. Brown. So yeah, like brown was going to come, but it didn't. Yeah. It, have, navigating a fart was like too much, too much. Yeah. Yeah, weird. Just well, that's the neurology's changing. You know, yeah, they, after I had take an organ out of your body and uh, oh, it's things, things change. Catastrophic. I imagine. It's not catastrophic. It's How disastrous. You. <laughs> I'm a cool not, dude. I'm saying. So, do you, um, yeah, because after my episio- I had two episiotomies, for one for each kid, mm-hmm. and I sharded a lot after the second one. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, whew, I better go yeah. now. So did you have a third degree tear? They go all the way to your. Oh, anus? they cut all the way, the whole way, bro. Is the child big? Cha cha cha. Uh, have you seen my husband how and big, his how, head? How, how big? No. They told me, Ellis, they go, there's no way that baby's head is going to come out of you because you're narrow and the right. baby's head is Oh, yeah, is he's right. got a big head. he got a big dome. Right. Yeah. So that's what they were and preparing a, for. Because if she yeah. tears it, if, if, it <laughs> if it tears without being cut, yeah, it, it messes everything up. It's really hard to repair it and stuff. Yeah. It's a, it, the muscle tears. This way they can open it without getting through the muscle and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's even good though, now. Even though the muscles are a little lax afterwards, that's why you're sharding. Well, not anymore. I've I been know. sharded, but every now and then, when it? I cough, I still pee a little. Mm, that's that's in, enjoy having had it's, pregnancies yeah. and vaginal delivery. Yeah, um, that's going to get worse. Really, mm-hmm. Nito? Is there called, anything I can do? It's called stress urinary incontinence. Mm-hmm. Uh, kegels are helpful. I do them but right now. You have now. to do them religiously. Looking at you and doing religiously. them right now. Religiously. Can I ask you? Because okay. we only have you for a few more minutes, so I want to get uh, you through these things. What is it? Uh, we'll give three minutes. Because, Let's make it work. No, oh my God, that. I've been having so much fun. I, I knew know. this would be good. I know. So um, there's this guy that's come to our attention. We don't know if he's white, quite in the cool guy club. Oh, um, it's going to be on this one. Okay. Um, and one of the things is. He's got a new screen. No, this is yeah. how you've been doing this show, right? Because I think it's the first time I've done this, this show. This is with the first screens. one. I think with these screens, okay. maybe. Yeah, I don't, this is yeah. very cool. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, 
So anyways, we were trying to figure out whether like this is again, you know, it's who he is, his affectation, is there something neurological, behavioral, whatnot. He's, right. he's an outgoing guy, but just He's a cool guy. Yeah, 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 man. Oh. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, man. Look, I got yo, my boy came from from San Fran to visit New York and he calls me up to to come to meet me. When I saw him he had a fucking Kool-Aid smile. He's like, This shit was from here to here. He couldn't believe it. No, that's a cool dude. Well that's not that's just that is a cultural phenomenon. Okay, which is Staten Island. <laughs> really? Or, or this guy's from the Bronx. Or, or I was gonna say the Bronx. Or or, or or even parts of Long Island. That this is this is a, a cool a certain version of cool dude that well, is okay. culturally reinforced. So it's it's because re- it's like it's there, um, isn't there didn't adopt didn't you have another guy for me who was a cool dude from New York? We had some other guy. Robert Paul Champagne. No, the guy with the big time cigar, Tommy. With the cigar. Big time Tommy. Big time Tommy. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, this, this is this is like a toned down version of Big Time Tommy. No. Oh, oh he goes oh, big. Yeah. This guy. He goes big. Yeah. Big Time Tommy is positive, but his kind of energy is kind of contained. Oh this yeah. This guy's energy. Does he is, keep? Is there other? Yes. Oh boy. And they're all. See, I thought this was a one-time thing we were seeing. Nah, man. <laughs> oh, come on, everybody. Oh, yeah, oh. rise and shine, baby. Oh. Hey, is it too early for happy hour? I sold this shit off fucking big way. So we got roadkill this morning. I fucking left. Modelo black shit. Yeah, hell? I got my Corona for later. Nah, so he just he's just another big time Tommy. He's, really, he really is. He's a good one. He's a good. Yeah. So here's the thing. So he's just big really, time Tommy was a too too much stuff going on. Well, this it's very just, calculated, but yeah. I think he's. A, but this guy, I'm like, look, here's here's the way my mind works. When I see a very affable, charming, yeah. fun together guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, he either is that guy. Or the dark side is real. Oh, this guy, I the camera agree. goes off, the door shuts, and he's like, "You watch your fucking mouth." No. Like, that's what I expect from so, guys. Sopranos like, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. think that's what's going on? No, so I don't I know that, go, but I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. So I, the whole time I was like, "Look, I believe that this is a good guy, yeah. but there's no, always the possibility." It's such a heavy, it's heavy compensation for the dark oh. side, right? All right. So listen, man. Listen, she fucking called me, man, call me Big Head. Let me explain something to you. you know, Back they're in the all like Greece, this. You know? Does he ever? Yeah, yeah, yeah But baby. does he ever go, yeah, and then, baby, you know, let's and then go, he, man. No. no. It's Saturday always the positive. Saturday. Let's I'll always. Let's fucking do it today. Yo, man, listen. I had a fucking missing off on my page last night. I had a couple of guys stick up. If he's like that Don't all the time, yeah. it's just off. who Fuck he is. Him. That's hypomania, if that's even What's all hypo- the time. That? What is hypomania? Hypomania is inflation, like you're elated all the time. It's excessive energy. You don't need much sleep. Like remember when, mm. um, remember when uh, Charlie Sheen was smoking through his nose and stuff yeah. and talking about tiger yep. blood? That was hypomania. Okay. And hypomania can flip into mania in some cases. And when you start go so big, you start believing you're Jesus and... You can start getting disconnected from reality. So this is, guy's, that, is that a, f- a switch of bipolar? Yes. Like, then they go so down. So this is like they... this is sort of a version of if he also had some depressed periods, which I bet he does. Yeah. That's sort of a bipolary kind of thing. It seems like a really nice guy. He yeah. has an organic dry cleaning service in the Bronx. Nice. And he's always out there on Instagram, just being like, "Good morning, I'm yeah. happy," and all this. But I'm like, "Yeah, I, you know I mean, better." I, I'm like, it's a little <laughs> much, right? Oh, and if yeah. the, and if they're like in the news today, guess what happened in the Bronx? There's 45 bodies underneath this dry cleaning. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah. I know, I know him. I know that guy. I know that guy. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> it's like great. Listen, man. Let me tell you yeah. something. All right. Let me give you the, uh, the definition of a mizzenop. Okay. So it's what? just a mizzenop. I'll give you their profile. All right. They sit at home. They're like anywhere from 20 to fucking 40. All right. They fucking live on mother's couch or they live in the mom's basement. I don't know, man. I'm tired of him. I get tired of him. Video yeah, games yeah. Fo- that's the thing. It's so it's exa- like, like, are you he, ready? it exhausts me that personality yeah, yeah, type. Yeah, too much. Too yeah. much. You are are you ready to address the I'm ready for anything. All right. So you were you know, this is basically you have to answer for the gossip that is being talked about oh. you. What? Um, yeah. Can't wait. So we have the clip. Oh, is this is this my buddy from uh is this uh, try it out? No, oh, no, no. Try it out. I know you know. Because the, the gossip. <laughs> yeah. Gossip I is it. I'm going to be Colonel Ch- Sanders. Colonel Sanders, yeah. I Which if, if you know, if you have any pull, Miss McDonald's, yeah. maybe, you could, um, maybe you could it's head on over off. to Colonel Sanders. Would you love to be I'll talk Colonel to Sanders? them a little. Bit. I love the irony of me as Colonel Sanders. Yeah. I don't know. love You're Colonel a, Sanders. So he's but I think it's hysterical. If the, I, I like being involved with ironic things. It makes me. You, makes you, me like, you look like you're, a chicken head, cuckle head. I think it'd be funny. That's what he called you. Just so you know, for those of you who don't know, Robert Paul Champagne was a little upset with Dr. Drew yes. and on Instagram. I, said, I think so Dr. Drew like insinuated or implied that there might be something wrong with him. Yeah. You know, something <laughs> going on. Yeah. And uh, he said uh, he doesn't need no psychoanalysis and that I remind him of a 
Colonel Sanders on something. Yeah. Some, yeah. some sort of disturbed Colonel Sanders. Yeah. Well, I couldn't agree with him more, but yeah. there's, Me too. Um, this is the clip that I wanted right. to let like, you know here. if you know. Here. Right here. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you know that this is uh, is out there. Okay. Oh. Love Dr. Drew. Uh, sick By the way, I heard Dr. Drew there. has the biggest hog. Oh. For real? Right. That's, that's, <laughs> that's fat. That, that is yeah. from yeah. who? Fattest dick from his boy. Fattest Mike Catherwood. Okay. Uh, dude, I'm t- it's like a pipe. <laughs> so this really? Yeah, I guess it's like crazy big. Okay. So it, it's it's not. Can I see it? <laughs> it's like, Can we see it? Can I yeah. see it? <laughs> <laughs> let's just go to the bathroom real quick. Someday. <laughs> really? Someday. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Someday we'll let that happen. So what did Mike Mike? Mike, this all came out. I know how this happened. Uh, no, no, it's all good. But it happened because um, Carol and I, when we were doing MTV Loveline, went down to Panama City, Florida, because it was spring break. This is yeah, 1996 crazy, or 1997. Our guest, we had this huge stage set up, and we did Loveline from down there. Our guest was Mike Myers. And Mike Myers was telling us about this show and. He was playing an international man of mystery, and he drove a Jaguar with a British. We were like, "What the fuck? Like, what?" He's like, yeah. "It's funny. I promise, it's funny." So he was talking about um, Austin, Austin Powers, Powers yeah. at the time. And before we went out to do the show, we were at the hotel, and uh, Adam and I, as we customarily did, urina- urinated next to each other, and there was no um, partition, lu- lucite partition uh-huh. there. And he went, uh, he goes. Uh, Hey, oh, pretty good. I, I don't know if you're thinking about something, but uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> and, and I told that story to Mike because I thought it was so funny that he included, I don't know what you're thinking of to yeah, jump yeah. up like that. Yeah, yeah. And so, and which I was not. Yeah. And uh, Mike took it and ran with it forever after. I believe you got oh. a thick piece. So, I believe it. So you're yeah. saying that maybe when you're flaccid, I, you I, hang I, well. Per- like, is that perfect. What? Everything's just right. It's okay. just right. Just right. Don't All hurt right. anybody. Well, let's, we'll talk more after this show. Okay. <laughs> <Like it>. um, <laughs> But uh, yes, fight on the kid. I wow. wanted to save the best for last. I know we have limited time, um, but this is one of my favorite clips that has come through here in the last few months. And maybe you can give a theory as to why this person is involved in this. Or, or okay. perhaps I'll have to put it off until my show and people have to come there to hear my, my There you go. Oh, okay. Let's see. That's well, here a tasty you go. nugget. Let's see. Oh my <gasps> gosh. <gasps> it's a man in like a fetish mask <gasps> and he's, uh, he's in a septic tank and he's swimming in the shit and the filth and the <gasps> diarrhea and he rubs it in his eyes. <gasps> That's what I wanted this week. That expression. Right you got there. it. <laughs> How bad is that to do? You That's know? bad. Yeah. That's bad. That's bad. What now I'm, I'm assuming you can get a cold. <laughs> I got, I Allergies. My career is over. What can happen to you by doing this? Well, see, I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna I'm gonna think well of this young man, and assume this is. Oh. Ugh. First of all, he's gonna get uh, conjunctivitis. That's bad. at least. But at least. But but I'm gonna guess this is his septic tank. Uh huh. So he knows what's gone into it. So he's there's something called the oral fecal route of transmission of infectious diseases, which worldwide is the lead, the most significant way to infectious diseases are transmitted mm-hmm. feces contaminating water or people getting exposed to it like this yeah putting on a rubber suit and swimming in it yeah this is the custom in some lands uh a- and if he is in a cesspool from other people's debris yeah who knows yep right but if he's own, he knows he's not sick he doesn't have worms doesn't have anything so he doesn't have to really worry about it quite so much Really? How if it's your own, so what you're saying is if it's your own flavor, well, you, you know, know what's you know in there. You know you're not ill with an oral fecal transmitted right. illness. I mean, is this how people, because I've always Man. wondered this. It's, um, it's, a, it's a lane. Look, it's out there. People have, um, you know, what's it called? Uh, fecal the fetishes. Fetishes. Well, right? No, well, like, this is a fetish thing. Well, I'm saying time. that in th- in this case, though, he's, though, he's in this suit. and then The leather and it, suit was a fetish. That's right. Yeah. But I'm talking about people who do. Uh, brown yeah, on the so face. Yeah, so it's funny you would show me this thing after bringing up Mike Hathwood because he sends me, texts me oh, videos every like day of people. Doing. Of He has some weird preoccupation with uh, anal prolapse. I don't like that. Which, I don't thank like that you, at all. Thank you for the t-shirt. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Well. Hot yeah. seller. Hot oh, seller. And, and we launched, We just launched the new official Dr. Drew After, after Dark shirt. 
So Fant- I love yeah. it. I got to wear it. I got yeah, a fresh yeah. ticket to Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. So um, yes, nothing should go in the anus bigger than the OK sign, essentially. That's what you said. That's, yes, because that's about which you know, is highly debatable. But go ahead. Well, I mean, yeah, it's because you can rosebud, right? Well, you can t- you can and prolapse anus is like a certain that much like the cucumber scenario, you can't just operate around. You have to go into the. Are you going to show us something? No, Hopefully no, no, not. No, go ahead. You got to go into the cavity and repair it from from where they got the cucumber. Yeah, from that piece, and it's a big operation. And you, you got to deal with your choices. And, and when and when the prolapse occurs, the anus can die. It, it cuts its own blood supply off. It's a, it's a serious thing. And so, but and he also shows me lots of people licking these things and I don't shitting like that. And sh- I, don't, I, don't I don't like get, it. I don't understand. How does he like it? I don't understand it. it. How, how, why does he spend Either. a minute thinking and looking yeah, for it? Yeah, what do you? Lo- he thinks it's a calling card for him, and he thinks it's funny that he knows at the other I, end yai, he's yai. freaking people out. Let's send him this. Oh my see god! If, see if he can. Is he eating it? <gasps> no, <gasps> is he? No, he's got the face mask. <gasps> on. It's just <gasps> his eyes are exposed. His oh my mouth. god! This keeps going. It does, and you want to know something great? No, um, maybe. What if <gasps> it's just pudding? Oh, what's that? It's just like a clump of hair that was in there. Uh! <laughs> it's so hard to watch. Happy anniversary. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, you you know, know what I, what I find strange about living and working with you guys? Yeah. Yeah. My hands have gone to my face more <laughs> yeah. in the couple yeah. months we've been working together than I ever yeah. have. And it's it's shame. It's what shame. Like, it's that shame. Yeah. My hands to my Which face. is great. It's shame and embarrassment yeah. is sort of this. This yeah. is shame. Yeah. I'm ashamed. Yeah. I don't want to be seen. It's like it's like I spent yeah. on my show, I've spent half the, the stuff looking at your videos Blue like this. Tell him what you told me about when you prepped this video. Uh, oh no! That in, no, just in the four years that I've worked with Tom and Christina, that was the only time I ever came close to puking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. while prepping yeah. some clips. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Tom is so happy, so proud of stuff. So he's happy. crazy. He's he evoke shame in me and and, and nausea in you or near emesis. Nothing makes me happier. I know that. I, I and I'm glad to provide that. Yeah. And I'm genuinely curious. Like You're I'm married genuinely, to this guy. I know. I'm genuinely curious about it. that. I know. I love it. <laughs> I'm so enthralled. I'm just, by what? I'm fascinated by Tom. I'm just endlessly curious about him. I think I'm just amused and curious. And I adore, I just adore him. In spite I of the contempt. Yeah, contempt. well, I I'm not sure it's contempt. I really don't no, think No, he contempt. doesn't have contempt. I think, I think it's joy. And no. I think it's, um, and, and I'm happy to provide some of that joy today I, to you. You oh, did, wow. and you absolutely did. Yeah. And, I, and I love getting that reaction. I love upsetting her with, you know, disgusting things yeah. as well. Yeah. I don't know. It just really, it's like my happiest state <laughs> that I can be in. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, it is wow. always, it is, it is honestly, we were leaving the house today. I was like, I'm so excited. I was to too. To I was excited. Through. Now I, now I, I sort of like, um, like I've had my, my, uh, Times at plate at the plate now. Yeah. I know I know what I'm <laughs> doing when I get up yeah. there now. You're pro. You got I'm it. I know where the other pitches are coming. I, I <laughs> love when you're back here. <laughs> and, and I love being here. I love. Thank oh, you for letting me you. bring Doctor Dr. oh, Dark here. It's been a pleasure. Top to bottom. Thank you. People the, love the it. Guys that, uh, the they're the guys. best. They're the yes. best. And I told you that on the phone. Yep. And people love hearing them laugh at everything. They yeah. really and the comedians appreciate it. Yep. Because you know they need that feedback. That's of course. They're kind of so insecure. insecure. Right? A little yeah. insecure so, about yeah. that. But no, it it is great. I love your show. Thank you for doing it here. Uh, again, a reminder to everybody that you can download Doctor Drew After Dark, listen to it everywhere you get you get a podcast, or you can watch it here on the YouTube channel. And it is every Tuesday, is it? Every Friday. Friday, at sorry. Noon Friday on at YouTube noon. YouTube channel on Thursday mornings. And, uh, and it's good to watch on YouTube because you see my hands on my face. Yes. So you, know, you miss that. <laughs> if you're not watching. And also we play some right. a, lot of, a lot of cool dude videos. Very cool dudes. <laughs> um, Christina, anything else? Uh, check out where my mom's at. Those drop Monday, Monday morning, and then Monday nude on YouTube. Uh, check out tour dates. Oh. And that's good. it. You're going to come on my show Yes, soon. I'm coming on. So Mr. I can't Mr. wait. Mr. Kreischer. Yeah. Um, Drunk. Well, is he okay? Is he okay with him? <laughs> I saw him fat? this morning. Is he all right? He's, he looked super terrible, but... Um, <laughs> That's not a usual. Yeah, no. So, I mean, I was, I I was trying to hook up with him in New York. He was there briefly. I, I feel like I got to spend more time with Mr. Kreischer. Really? Let's talk about it. Like an intervention time? Uh, just feeling he needs a little support. That's all. Yeah. A little celebrity after, rehab. After, after talking to his wife, I got deep insights. Tell me. What, what did you learn? Everybody, first of all, you should listen to the episode with Bert and then listen to the episode well, with Well, somebody Liam. today tweeted. It was the best tweet ever. 
that they want, and this is what I need your help on. You yeah. ready? Yeah. It'll make you bring your great joy. Okay. They need him to recreate the time he was drinking Slim Flast and crying in the shower when his <laughs> wife broke up with him. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see that. And I thought, we need to see that. <laughs> Slim Fast tears in the shower and his wife walking in. Ugh, do they still make Slim Man, Fast? Yeah. I yeah, mean, that yeah. would be a pretty good image, wouldn't it? It would be, yeah. yeah. Um, unfortunately, I'm told that you have to I do, I have bounce to quickly. So, all right, yeah. all right. We love you. Okay, Thanks again for Thank coming. We'll talk soon. All right. Bye-bye. 2395, Ragnar Houses, Apartment 2C, 124 North First Avenue, East Harlem, 718, 930, 9723. Black guys are meant to fuck and fuck good. If you're a hot black guy, you want to fuck me. At 20, if you want to move in, you can move in, but you better fuck me. I need, I need you to fuck a lot, man. Get rid of free food, free rent, and everything else, man. You have a deal, man. And then from jail, homeless, boy. You're a thug, you want to come move in. Friend can move with you, man. Free rent, you can go to the Fuck me. It's on me. Beat me. I'm all man out. You see me when I come up today, fired up, fired up, man. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more, you can click on any of these videos in this general area. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps feed our cats. Don't have any cats.